Carnival weekend rolls on. From Mansion Park in Altoona, Pennsylvania, the PIAA presents high school football. Tonight, it's the Quad A state championship game between unbeaten Pittsburgh North Hills against Central Bucks West out of District 1. North Hills 14-0, CB West 13-1. They meet to decide the state championship in Quad A tonight, Mansion Park, Altoona. Temperatures at game time, 18 degrees. The wind chill. How does minus nine sound as you see the North Hills team being introduced to their fans along the way? Covering the side, Bill Richardson. There has been snow flurries. There have been high winds of 20 to 30 miles an hour, but the field seems to be holding up just fine, Bill. Chad, the field is in pretty good shape. We're getting to see a little bit of snow on it, but we're talking about a kind of a different surface for a high school game. It's a polypropylene surface. It's a carpet, actually. Underneath it, there's a rubber mat. Then they put some sand on top of that and then move the sand into the carpet itself. All the painting on all the lines on it are actually painted on, so they don't have to do anything more to it ever. But the situation is there's great drainage. There's good, tra uh, good traction out here. We don't see any real problems with this. The only problem will be it won't be as bright green as it usually is. No other problems at all. All right, Bill Richardson, he'll be on the sideline covering our stories from there. Mark Shuey, North Hills, ranked number three in the USA Today poll. Cleveland St. Ignatius locked down the mythical national championship with a 38 to 20 win over Cincinnati Moeller to win the Ohio State Championship with the big guys. But Pittsburgh North Hills won it all in 1987. They've got a tough cover tonight in Central Bucks West, one of the great programs in the state of Pennsylvania. Well, Central Bucks West won the PIAA title right here at Altoona's Mansion Park in 1991. You're talking about two legendary programs in the state of Pennsylvania. Central Bucks West under coach Mike Petton, who's been there 27 years, they've racked up a winning percentage of better than 850. 250 wins against 37 losses. North Hills under Jack McCurry, almost as successful the past 14 years. A winning percentage of 781 under McCurry with 144 victories. Unbelievable. Central Bucks West had a winning streak of 53 straight games from 1983-1988. Just solid, legendary programs in the state of Pennsylvania clashing here for the Quad A Championship in 1993. Let's see drop a little bit right at midfield what you're looking at now with the main referee we understand uh, North Hills has deferred Central Bucks West or ball right again the wind is going to be a huge factor in this football game and while Bill Richards with the wind to your back today you can throw the football North Hills probably is going to throw a little more than West tonight and they've got one of the best quarterbacks in the state, and he's got some gaudy numbers both on the ground and through the air yeah they sure do uh, North Hills quarterback Eric Kasparovich 5,000 career yards throwing. Now, he's a tremendous ball player, and he's also rushed for over 800 yards. So he can do it all. If the pocket collapses around Kasparovich, he's going to take it off and get positive yardage. Our national anthem is coming up here momentarily. We're going to take you around Mansion Park, give you a flavor as to what's going on. The Quad A final tonight, CB West and North Hills. Here is our national anthem. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed and the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perils of fight all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night who that all flag was 
Lights, camera, action. North Hills, number three in the country, number one in the state of Pennsylvania, to decide the Quad A championship tonight against the Eastern champion Central Bucks West, the 1991 champ. North Hills won it all in 1987. When we mean win it all, we mean the USA Today poll. Jack McCurry in his 16th year. Mike Patton, well, what more can you say? 13 unbeaten seasons, Marks. He has run the table more than once. Yeah, Mike Patton, the Central Bucks West coach, he has guided his teams, as you said, Jed, to 13 unbeaten seasons, five more campaigns in which they only lost one game. This year falls under that five campaign category. They lost one game. That was week number two to Norristown. Since then, Central Bucks West has been on a tear, beating Easton last week, 6-3 to three to advance to Altoona and the Quad A PIAA Championship High School football game about to get underway as North Hills in their red uniforms, white helmets, red trim, white trim rather, will kick off with the wind at their backs. 150 pound junior, North Hills in the solid red, an intimidating looking club even in warmups and this quad A final is underway. Low kick fielded by the short man, Brian Honnessy. honnessy has got decent yardage and he's gonna be waved under by a pile of Red Sea there at the 33 yard line. Gang tackling is the rule. Special teams for North Hills. On offense for CB West, it's led by Ben Snyder, six foot one, 175 pound junior. His big go to guy is going to be number 10 in white, Bill Lowe, five foot eight, 160 pound junior. And the fullbacks, Jason Williamson, he wears number 44. A couple of guys to watch on the defensive side of the ball for North Hills. They're linebackers, Joe Stern, Rich Rapp. They've combined to make over 160 tackles this season. We are underway here in Altoona. Super Bowl weekend of high school football here in the Keystone State. Power eye formation, handoff below, second man through, slams off tackle for a gain of about three or four to the 39 yard line. Nothing fancy about Bill Lowe. Very low to the ground at five foot eight, but has a lot more wallop than 160 would lead you to believe. There you go, Bill Lowe, the second back, takes it. A little bit of a hole. He's their leading rusher throughout the year. Not spectacular numbers from Bill Lowe. Totaled 853 yards throughout the season. That tackler, Ken Bollins, will tell you about him on offense when North Hills takes the football. Mm -hmm. Multiple set. Snyder handoff low again. Delay draw. Low across midfield. Big yardage to the 40. Low on a foot race 30. Lowe's all the way down to the 25 and fumble the football at the 24. Bill Lowe fumbled after the long gain, and it's going to be North Hills football. Again, it's a very cold night here in Altoona, and he really got hit from behind. I think he got blindsided at the end of this run, Mark, yeah, and that's that, why it came loose. Yeah, it's just a shame after a very nice run from Bill Lowe. Good hole opened up by the interior line of Central Bucks West, and he just got the ball stripped from the uh, trailing defensive back. That would be number 24, Byron Hobbs. Forced the fumble. North Hills recovers. First turnover of the ball game. Didn't take long. Under a minute they played and have already got a turnover. Like you said, that rock is a slippery one tonight. 33-yard pickup by Lowe is wiped out. CB West had out turnover. They did a plus eight. They'd forced nine turnovers of their opponents to just one for them in the last three ball games. Kasparov, it's going to hand off to Big LeVar Arrington, the freshman to the outside. Arrington springs forward to the 31-yard line. And LeVar Arrington, now this is a name that's going to be a big one in Pennsylvania prep annals in a while. 6'4", 200 pounds, a freshman scored a touchdown first time he had the football. He is a star of the future here. Yeah, here you see LeVar Arrington cutting to the outside. And uh, Arrington, number nine, as you said, he's a ninth grader. Doesn't even have his learner's permit. He's a driver in Pennsylvania. He is going to be a good one, LeVar Arrington. Gained over 600 yards for the North Hills Indians this season on the ground. He'll drive more miles on the ground running the football than he will in a car for a couple of more years. First man through, this is going to be Lasky, and he's got a first down to the 36-yard line. Number 34, John Miller on the carry for the Indians. John Miller on the carry. Well, Ken Bolins is a great story. Now, there's a guy with some gaudy numbers, 76 catches, 1,483 yards and 11 touchdowns. He's the deep threat for that man on your screen right there, Eric Kasparovitz, a quarterback coveted by many in the Division I level. That's right. Bolins is the main target, and uh, Kasparovic, he is a good one. He'll set, step back in the pocket, drop back, and he'll set up shop. But if that pocket collapses, he fully has the capability to go outside and pick up 
positive yardage on the ground. One back set as Kasparovitz drops back to pass. Keep in mind, he's a great runner over 800 on the year. Kasparovitz across the 40 and out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Another gain of six or seven yards. And again, that's going to freeze the linebackers for West all night long. What the key on with this young man? He's a load to handle. What is he going to do? Here's Kasparovich. Like I said, the pocket collapses. And what's he do? He looks downfield. Then he gets past the line of scrimmage and tucks it under. Turns it up. Nine yards on the carry. Bringing up a second and one for North Hills. Opening possession of the game for North Hills. 9.24 to go. Quarter number one, the Quad A PIAA championship football game. Kasparovitz rushed for 12 touchdowns. He's had 143 carries. Single setback again is Miller. Kasparovitz, quick quarterback draw right up the gut. Three or four, good enough for a first down. Give him four more. Tackle is made by Wes Jeff Goodesell, 6'1", 175-pound senior. Goodesell is a great story. And speaking of stories, how about C.B. West, Mark? Not many seniors on this club as we look at this play again. Yeah, here's uh, Kasparovitz just going right over the center and that's big Seamus Murphy he is a, a division one prospect one of three offensive linemen for North Hills that uh, the division one schools are seriously looking at Seamus Murphy he's a good one tough to stay a secret at 6'6 250 and that kind of athlete that kind of frame second man through LeVar Arrington and he is stamped out at the line of scrimmage I mean he was rubbed out right away Bill Lappin came in six foot two 210 pounder also helping out there was Goodesell again. Look at this hit. Yeah, watch Bill Lappin come from his inside linebacker spot. Boom. Oh. And he took LeVar Arrington, put him right to the turf. Almost immediately, loss of a yard on the play. It'll be second and 11 for North Hills. 8.30 and counting, no score. North Hills with the ball. 8.25 to go in the opening quarter. We're still scoreless. C.B. West only ran a couple of plays. 33-yard run by Lowe. He fumbles at the end. North Hills takes over. Going in motion this time is Rich Rapp, the tight end. Handoff going to be Kasper Olvitz keeping himself across midfield to the CB West 47-yard line. Kasper Olvitz that time elected to run the ball himself. I think he, it was kind of a deception play in that Kasper Olvitz tucked the ball under and ran it by himself. That was a design play, even though four receivers were flooding the right-hand side of the field. Three lined up on the right-hand side. One came in motion from left to right. So certainly Central Bucks West may have been thinking pass to the right. Third down and five for North Hill. 7.30 to go. We're in the opening quarter. Miller, the short man, dotting the eye behind him and a timeout now for North Hills. We'll take a timeout as well. We are scoreless. 7.28 to go in the opening quarter. Pittsburgh North Hills, nothing. CB West, nothing. Back with more after this. Want to remind you that you can relive the magic moments from the 1993 PIAA Football Championships for years to come. Order your official PIAA Football Championship video today. Each VHS tape will contain one game of your choice along with full color commentary and band performances. Cost of the tape, $21 and $4 for shipping and handling. You can order yours today, 1-800-382-1392 to put your order on Visa or MasterCard or send your check or money order to the PIAA. 550 Gettysburg Road, PO Box 2008, Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, 17055. Quickly to the sideline and our Bill Richardson, Bill, what about the wind chill and the wind? It seems to be a little bit lighter than the earlier session today. Okay, again, we're having some trouble with Bill's audio down there, as you can see. Bill, we can see you, but we cannot hear you right now. Scoreless with 7.28 to go. Third down and five. North Hills will go with a single setback. Watch number 12. He's off your screen right now as Kasparovitz changes the play. CB West with a 5-3 stack up front. Bolins goes in motion, Kasparovitz wiggles out of trouble, now he's on a sprint option draw, looks to get outside and he's not going to get it done, what a play on the outside. Gavin McKay in on the stop and I'll tell you what, you don't see a finer play than that, stuffing the run. Yeah, watch this, in fact, number 66, Bill Lapton almost gets Kasparovitz in the backfield, he went for the wrong man, he bit on the fake. Kasparovitz tucked the ball under, started running left. And there you go, number 41 up the linebacker spot. Excellent tackle, great play, stringing it out to the left side of the field, stopping North Hills on their first third down play of the drive. North Hills is punting. 
Ryan sees it a punt. End over end kick. Looks like a bad nine iron shot, but it'll take a North Hills bounds and go out of bounds at the 25 yard line. CB West back on offense. And again, you talk about a more moral victory. They get one there. The CB West defense snuffs out Kasparovitz on what he has been so successful on all year long, getting yeah. the corner. Absolutely. And the outside linebacker on that play, number 41, Gavin McKay, just an outstanding job. Bill Lafton came in and he really almost wrecked the play almost immediately. Gavin McKay was not full, strung out Kasparovitz, tackled him for a very little game, short of the first down. They needed five, not only about two. First and 10 for Central Bucks West at their own 25 yard line. Bill Lowe will line up at a slot position to the right as they send trip to the right of Snyder. They hand off, second man through. It's going to be Jason Williamson. He's got the sideline. Williamson explodes across midfield, all the way down to the North Hills 45 yard line. Jason Williams called, Williamson rather. 6'1", 210 pounds, senior. Coffee quick to the outside. The official spot, North Hills, 46. And they're getting big plays up front. Yeah, Jason Williamson, here you see him. He's the fullback, a senior. There, a good straight arm to elude the tackle. And he scampers upfield for another four yards. Jason Williamson, nine rushing touchdowns for West this season. That time, a big first down run. First and 10 at the 46. 29 yard run, and that follows a 33 yard scamper by this man, Bill Lowe. This time, not much room there. Stacked up. Kasparovitz, 6'1, 200 pounder, in on the stop. To Bill Richardson now. Bill, when we talk about win, it's not all that bad. It could have been a lot worse. That's true. It could be much worse down here than it really is in that sense. And it's not too bad right now. We've even got coaches on the sidelines that are wearing shorts. But down here, some of the team players are using packets like this. It's a warning packet to keep your hands warm. You just shake the bag, stick it inside your gloves, and it's an actual hand warmer. They'll be seeing those on the sidelines throughout the night. Hand off to Bill Lowe, and he finds the going tough as he runs into the interior wall that time for North Hills. Seamus Murphy. See Sackett on the step stack. Chris Berry also climbing up from the bottom of the pile. Bill Lowe, kind of like the delayed draw. Bill Lowe tries to break it through on the interior line. He's tripped up by a number of North Hills players. Chris Berry, number 73, coming up from the stack, making the tackle. Third and five for CB West. They don't live on the air that much, but Snyder will drop. He is rolling, looking, looking under the gun, goes for the flag. Gets to the 36 and a half yard line. They keep him in bounds. It's going to be close. Uh, he certainly knew where the stick was, though, didn't he? It's going to be real close, and I think he's about a half yard shy. It's at about the 36 and a half yard line. And again, Mike Petton now, the head coach of West, has got a real tough decision to make. I have a feeling they're going to go for it. 4.45 to go here in the opening quarter, and I think they're going to talk things over. Timeout West. We are still scoreless. 4.43 to go in the opening quarter. Let's go back to Bill Richardson and uh, see what Bill has over on the side. You know, when we talk about those hand warmers, Bill, and everything else that you can to stay warm on the side, they don't have those, like, main blower-type uh, contraptions, which we've seen in years gone by. Remember Bud Grant when he was with the Minnesota Vikings? Well, Bill, the players are on their own down there tonight. That's right. We used to have a situation where they have big heaters on the side, and everybody kind of go gather around those. That's not happening down here tonight. Everybody's out there just trying to keep moving, right, to stay warm here. And it's not as bad as it could be. And like I said, we've got a couple of guys down here who are saying, hey, it's football weather, and that means it's still time to be wearing shorts. Me, I'm staying in the parka. <laughs> Which way to the beach with this one guy? Yeah, I mean, it's... Up at least about a 10 degree below wind chill factor out here <laughs> and maybe temperatures about 15 to 17 degrees before the evening is done big play coming now fourth we'll call it a yard for west as they look to keep the drive alive at the north hills 36. well the ground game's been very effective remember west first possession bill Lowe ripped off a long gainer before fumbling and that's how north hills got possession in their initial possession so Ground game's been very effective thus far for CB West. Smoke rises over the football on the line of scrimmage as the big guys stack up and bunch in on fourth and goal. Hand off Williamson, first down West as he explodes to the 34-yard line and a big line surge that time for West. Boy, those big guys up front, Hobaugh, Lappin, Boltis, look at that surge. Boy, there's a lot of beef button heads right there and Jason Williamson, Central Bucks West just does the flying leap over the top, picks up the first down yardage necessary. It'll bring up a first and 10 for Central Bucks West. 
Creeping deeper into North Hills territory. Balls at the 33-yard line. Chief formation behind Ben Snyder, the junior quarterback. Only one starter, that's Williamson back from last year's 91 edition, and Williamson the carry, maybe a yard, and that is it. In on the stop for North Hills that time was Dave Bloth. He's a 5'11", 190-pound sophomore. Gonna hear a lot of his name tonight. Also, Mike Masucci, 5'8", 205-pound senior. You'll hear his name as well. There you see Dave Bloth with the tackle. Fine tackle from Dave Bloth, 347. Got to go in his first quarter of play, Central Bucks West. At the 33-yard line of North Hills. Pitch to the outside. This is Bill Lowe across the 30, and he is dropped by Kasparovitz and also Pollins at the Bolins, rather, at the 28-yard line. Hey, you know, Kasparovitz, we talked about his running ability. Of course, he's a very fine quarterback, more than 5,000 career yards passing, but he's a very good safety, too, defensively. 13 interceptions this season, so he's a force defensively as well. North Hills has had the football for one first down and a couple of plays after that. This is already the eighth play of this particular drive for West. As you see, Big Ben Snyder, number eight on your screen. Third down and six, possession down. They'll need the 32. Snyder, option keep, going to run it upfield, cuts up the middle, makes it close to the 25. Still about two yards shy of a first down and another fourth down call coming for Mike Patton and the CB West coaching staff with 2.45 to go in the opening quarter. We look at it again. Well, that's right. Here, Ben Snyder faking the handoff. He's a big, strong kid. Tucks it under, starts upfield, and just dives, trying to make the sticks. He's very close, about two yards shy. If you're thinking field goal in this fourth down situation, forget it. Central Bucks West is driving straight into the teeth of a very fierce win. This is their second fourth down try of this drive. See if they're successful on this one. They're obviously successful on the first. They bring Honesty in. He's a bigger guy at 200 pounds. Williamson also lined up behind Snyder on fourth and a yard and a half. Williamson may have it. It'll be close. To the two and a half yard line. It's going to be close. They're going to have to bring the chains out for this one. It'll be real tight. 2.10 to go as they stop the clock. And here comes the chain gang. We have a camera right up the line for you to see exactly how close this will be. Bill Richardson, are you down? Okay, he's far. I see Bill over, over here. We'll let him walk up there right now. It's still scoreless. This is nine play drive, and whether or not it continues depends on this chain right here. Well, we'll let the cameras tell the story. It's a first down. Well, they've converted fourth down and a yard, yard and a half so far on this drive. Twice. And Jason Williamson got it done both times. Williamson, a power back, 6'1", 210, senior. Mentioned moments ago that he's the only starter from a year ago playing on this club. Some rebuilding here to go 13-1. and one. Yeah. Not yeah. too shabby. Of course, you're mentioning the 1991 team that won the PIAA title right here in Altoona's Mansion Park in 91. Hand off Williamson again. Nothing fancy about this. He slams right into Seamus Murphy right over the middle. Also helping out on the stop that time was Big Joe Stern. He's a 6'1", 215-pound senior. Williamson to the 20-yard line, and the snow begins to intensify. They're calling anywhere from, say, one to three inches. Depends on which area you are here in this particular region of Blair County. Yeah, there you just saw the running back, Williamson, running into the interior line. Not a good idea to run right at Seamus Murphy. Big 250-pounder. Look at the snow coming down at Altoona's Mansion Park now. Snyder on a keeper, trying to get out of trouble, dances around one, and Kasparovic has him and slams it at the 20-yard line. Maybe a yard. It'll be third and six coming again for West as they look to keep the drive alive. They've been living on the edge, living without a net on this drive. I mean, convert fourth down. Yeah, here you go. A couple of times. Ben Snyder calling his own number once again. Kasparovic coming up from his safety spot to make the tackle well short of the first down. It'll be third and seven. Another critical third down play for Central Bucks West. Third and seven ball on the North Hills 20 yard line. Good matchup is uh, off your screen and Jason Gattuso. Snyder under the gun, gonna throw, has his man. That's gonna be Bill Lowe. Lowe dives to the 14 yard line. He's short and I say incomplete. Yeah. Say so he didn't have possession as he fell down. Fourth down and seven, and again, the third fourth down decision for Mike Pettin and the CB coach, CB West coaching staff. Yeah, this one's going to be a little longer than they had to go. Ben Snyder drops back. Heavy pressure as North Hills is coming with the blitz. Found his receiver, 
And like we said, it is so cold and windy, very hard to hang on to the football. The receiver bobbled the ball, incomplete pass, bringing up a fourth and seven situation for West. 33 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Into the football game, Mike Condier, also Gattuso. Back, oh, Snyder, blitz is coming. Snyder into the pocket over the middle. It's tipped and falls incomplete. Kasparovic saves the day as the pass intended over the middle for Bill Lowe, and it might have been a touchdown. Yeah, Eric Kasparovic sure did save the day. Number 33 came from a safety spot and tipped what appeared to be a direct strike to the intended receiver in the end zone from quarterback Ben Snyder. Ball falls incomplete. North Hills will take over possession. First and 10 on their own 20 yard line. There you see the North Hills coaching staff on the sidelines watching their Indians huddle together, break the huddle, and tee it up for their second possession of the ball game. 28. 28 seconds remain in the first quarter. This is Miller. Big senior across the 25 to the 26 yard line. John Miller, 5'10, 170 pounder. Nothing fancy about this as they go tackle to tackle. No, not at all. Yeah, this is straight power of football. And that's what Coach Mike Petton said prior to the game. He says, you know, North Hills reminds him of his 1991 club because they can do so many things, they have so many talented players, and they run multiple formations. He said his 1987 team unbeatable. Timeout on the field will keep it here. We've come to the end of the first quarter of play. Our score, North Hills nothing, CB West nothing. Quad A Eastern Championship, PIAA here at Mansion Park in Altoona. Just because you're 75 doesn't mean you have to feel as if you're 105. Delcrest, delivering customer satisfaction for over 25 years. Eric Kasparovic, the quarterback, single setback behind him, Miller. Miller gets the carry, running off tackle, running well, strong, and slapped down at the 29. I don't think he's got the first down. No, I don't think so. It looks to be about a yard, half a yard short. Boy, C.B. West, John Miller, just playing outstanding defense. Yeah. Gavin yeah. McKay is one of those guys. Yeah, right there, that's right. That's an excellent play, but number 34, Jason, Jason Gattuso. Gattuso, just rolled off his block found the ball carry and stopped him possibly short of a first down I'll have to wait for a measurement as you look at North Hills the Indians trying to turn in an unbeaten season 14 and 0 here come the chains and looking right across the field I think he's got enough the way it looks even though we're blocked off oh we do maybe by the boom maybe by the nose of the ball here we go again it's John Miller the senior here John Miller Watch this play by Jason Catuso. Number 34 just spins off his block right there. Boom. Bang. Stops the ball carrier, gets some help, makes the tackle. Nonetheless, first down yardage for North Hills. The Indians off the move, first and 10 from their own 30-yard line. Opening moments of quarter number two. No score in the game. Two of the legendary programs here in high school football in the state of Pennsylvania. Central Bucks West versus North Hills. Button heads. Now tuna. We are still scoreless. LeVar Arrington, the super freshman, 6'4", 200 pounds. He's going to take the pitch, and I think we may have motion or a jump on the line of scrimmage against North Hills. Yeah. We'll wait for the official verdict on the field. I think maybe the guy who was uh, in motion turned up field before motion the snap man of the ball. There was Byron Hobbs, 5'9", 160 pounds senior. You want the five yards, right? Okay, we'll take it back five, Dick. Oh, yeah. The tackle pulling up early for uh, North Those Hills. Referees, you know, I was watching those guys. They've got about nine layers of clothes on. It's been a well-officiated tournament here in Altoona. 
haven't really seen any controversies whatsoever. These guys have just been in control really from Friday's afternoon session right up till now. First and 15, Kasparovitz under center. Miller the lone setback. Kasparovitz quick handoff. Nothing doing. Miller's got nowhere to run. And Gattuso's the man on the scene again. Number 34 and White is playing a whale of a football game early. Uh, this is just a great stop. Here's Gattuso. Boom. Comes in head first like a flying wedge and just stops Miller in the tracks. Gattuso is a wallop, too. 6'3. Yeah. We're talking 220 pounds. Linebacker. Also plays a little tight end. Got to think he's maybe one of those Division I guys they talk about with West. They don't really give you schools and that sort of thing. Tradition rich programs, both of them. Now they line Arrington out at a wide receiver spot. Miller will stay the lone setback. Kasparovic back, looking, throws, fires a seat as his man Bollins across the 40 to the 42 yard line. And a first down for North Hills. Well, Kasparovic over 2,500 yards in the air, and that time we see why. Stands tall in the pocket and rifles one off the back foot. Finding his favorite target, Ken Bollins. Bollins came up and did a button hook right in front of the coverage. And uh, Bowens comes down with a reception. Nice toss by Kasparovitz, the North Hills quarterback. And you knew they were throwing. They had two wide outs split wide to each side. Obvious throwing down for Coach Jack McCurry, the North Hills Indians. Kasparovitz and Bowens executed nicely. First down for North Hills. 77 catch of the year for Bowens. First and 10 at the 42. And out of the shoot early that time for North Hills was Chris Fiola, yeah. a six foot, 200 pound junior. Don't mean to pick on Chris, but he jumped her. I mean, he was the only one moving. 9.58 to go. We're in the second quarter and still scoreless. North Hills trying to mount a threat. Again, another five-yard penalty keeps it stuck in neutral. Yeah, second penalty of this drive for North Hills, and that's frustrating to a coach. You know, Jack McCurry, there you see him in the white ski caps. He wants his team to be mentally focused into this game. And that shows kind of a breakdown in concentration at times, the legal procedure calls, and twice in one drive is especially irritating for the coach, I'm sure. North Hills is called timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. Scoreless, 9.58 left. Want to remind you that you can uh, relive the magic moments from the 1993 PIAA Football Championship for years to come. Order your official PIAA Football Championship videotape today. Each VHS tape will contain one game of your choice, along with full color commentary and band performances. The cost of the tape, $21 plus $4 for shipping and handling. You can call 1-800-382-1392 to put your order on Visa or MasterCard, or send your check or money order to the PIAA, 550 Gettysburg Road, P.O. Box 2008, Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, 17055. Order yours today. It's been our pleasure to be here throughout the Super Bowl high school football weekend here in Altoona. They do a great job here at Mansion Park. Second full year that they have had all of the games from single A all the way through quad A. And it's going to be here a while. They've got the corporate community behind them and uh, just everybody's made e us feel very welcome throughout this great weekend of football. Kasparov, it's going to hand off Arrington. Arrington trying to bounce to the outside. Finds going tough. Arrington's going to be hit and drop for a big time loss. All the way back to the 33 yard line. In on the stop, Brian Honnessy. He's a six foot 190 pounder. Also, Bill Lowe on the scene to make sure he couldn't go anywhere. Arrington bottled up immediately here, Mark. Yeah, Brian Honnessy out of his right defensive end spot pursues the play. There you see him coming down the line, measuring. And uh, brings down Arrington. Arrington really had no room to run. Like you said, he hit the design hole, found no going there, bounced outside, tried to get the corner, but Honnessy right there to shut the door. Loss on the play of three. It'll be second and 18 for North Hills from their own 34-yard line. Going to send Arrington now to the top of your screen. He is a big three, big time threat. Down to 9.04 to go. Kasparovic running for his life. Still running. He's across the 30, 35, and out of bounds. Full head of steam. Oh. At about the 34-yard line. Well, he's a tough kid. He took a shot over there on the sidelines and still got up. He tripped over the benches. Watch this. Even though the pocket breaks down, and there's a lot of pursuit. The pocket collapsed almost immediately. He's a threat once he gets out of that pocket. Here he comes to the west sidelines and just in a full head of steam, hit that metal bench, toppled over the bench, but popped right back up. Tough kid, Eric Kasparovitz. 
third down 17 the ball at the North Hills 35 yard line. Here we are trying to stay warm window open. <laughs> they Still call us. They call us nuts up here in the press box. <laughs> they make sure we shut everything else down. 856 left still scoreless ninth play of the drive as Kasparovic drops looks has a man intercepted and dropped Dave Roberts of CB West comes right in right in front of Bolins that time and really almost came up with a big play and he knows it. Oh that's right but you see what the wind did to that ball here you got Kasparovic and he has a gun he sets up has plenty of time has his receiver that's Ken Bolins. And look, the ball stops. It, it literally stops, gives the defensive man time to come back, cut in front of the intended receiver, and disrupt the play. Bill Lowe and Jason Williamson will drop back to about their own 32. Punt time now for North Hills. High punt. The wind just kills it right at midfield. So CB West will really get good field position on the North Hills side of the field at the 49 yard line. West has played a very very strong game they have not done anything to beat themselves just one turnover that came on the end of a 33 yard gallop by Bill Lowe where he was blindsided from behind other than that West has played a good ball game yeah they have I'll tell you what that wins doing that was a 14 yard punt. And I'll bet punter for North Hills hasn't punted one that short all year the Bucks come behind junior quarterback Ben Snyder Lowe and Williamson are the setbacks. Williamson has been the big type back today. He has converted a couple of fourth down and yard plays for them on their last drive. Pitch back Bill Lowe. He's the speed guy. Lowe trying to get the corner. No, not going to happen. Kasparovitz. And Bolins is there again, but Kasparovitz is really playing a fine game out of the strong safety spot. He's been all over the place. Yeah, he is all over the field, literally. <laughs> Here you have Bill Lowe, and he's got some speed trying to get the corner, but there's one man that prevents him from turning that corner, and that is number 33 in red, Eric Kasparovitz, from his safety spot nonetheless. So he had to travel a ways to come up and make that play on Bill Lowe. Good football instincts to recognize the play, the direction of the play, and stop the play. He is one of those guys, an athlete, plays quarterback, yeah. and just look at his defensive work. In motion goes Condi. Quick handoff, going to be William Lowe, rather, and he's got the 49, and that's it. Stacked up by Patsalevis. Rich Rapp, rather, gets credit for the stop for North Hill. 7.45, we're in the second quarter. Fast-moving ball game, still scoreless. Interesting. A cold night in Altoona, Pennsylvania. It's been a chilly day, but that's the way it gets in December. Interesting stat. Third down conversions. North Hills 0 for 3. Central Bucks West 0 for 3, but they're 2 for 3 on fourth down conversions. Might throw out of this on third and nine. Snyder back. Snyder looking. Snyder under the gun. Going to keep it himself. Snyder trying to pick his way clean and gets to the 45-yard line. We may have a mask at the end of that. I don't know if there's a flag down or not. I think it's screened off. Mark no flags. No flag. No flag. Looked like it might be a 50-50 there. Let's see how it develops here, Mark. Yeah, yeah you got Bill uh, Snyder, the quarterback for Bucks West. Fakes the throw, and then he turns it upfield. Tucks the ball underneath. Whole lot of traffic here. Looked to me like one of the defenders may have grabbed a mask Ooh. on the way down. Got an arm. So on fourth and nine, West will punt now. Good kick, but the wind is at the back. Miller, the ball is loose. It's live. Picked up and swarm is Andy. Check that is Chris Fiola. But Miller dropped the punt. Man, that's a tough, tough ball to field there. I think that was Byron Hobbs, rather, the deep man. Let's have a look at this. It sure again. is. It's a tough ball to field, especially when a, a white missile with 80 tattooed on it is flying into your face like Dave Roberts. Look at that. Central Bucks West, their kick team, Dave Roberts, got down there like a rocket. Chris Fiola saves the day. North Hills first and 10 from their own 10. They have not enjoyed great field position all night long. LeVar Arrington, the freshman, will line up now at a wide receiver spot. He's off your screen. Olins is in. Handoff goes to Miller. He's got nowhere to go. In on the stop for West is Todd Volt. Voltus, 6'3", 240-pound senior. Boy, Voltus is playing well, and that West defensive front is gaining momentum now, Mark. Yeah, it sure is. Look at that play right yeah, there. Voltus. Voltus had to come from the other side to make this tackle. He fought for a block. Just shook his man. Ooh, almost a mask there. Almost, almost a face mask on that one as well. 
made the tackle up around the head. That is very dangerous. Anytime you do that, you risk a 15-yarder. Massaged his helmet. <laughs> 5.40 to go. We are in the second quarter. We are still scoreless. Boys Quad A Championship tilt. Kasparovitz, this is just quarterback bootleg draw, running right. Nowhere to go. West stacks him up. They're just daring North Hills to throw the football. Yeah, they are. They're stacking the line of scrimmage and saying, you're going to have to beat us through the air. And in the second quarter, where North Hills is marching into the wind, it's going to be very difficult again. 34 throw. and white. He yeah. is all over the place. He's the one that slows it down again. Yeah, Gattuso slows it down by clogging it up with by pushing his blocker back in to where Kasparovas wants to go. And so he slowed down the whole train. Third and seven. The ball at the 13. Down to five minutes to go. We're in the second Final quarter of play. No score. What a ball game. Bolins will line up to one side. Arrington is at the other. Throwing situation as Kasparovitz drops into the pocket. Looking. Throws over the middle. Pass caught. Bolins 25. Spins free to the 26. First down North Hills. And a great throw. Kasparovitz. He threw it into double coverage. Yeah, Gain sure of 12. Did. This is a great throw. Great pattern. Kasparovitz takes the deep drop. And he throws a perfect spiral. And Bolins comes down with it. Had to go up for it. Almost dropped it. See there? That's how tough it is to hang on to this ball. When it gets cold, it gets a little bit slick. We were talking earlier, it's, it's almost like trying to handle a bowling ball. It's that, feels that heavy, and it, it's that slick. And that time, Bolin's almost coughed up the ball, kept possession, first down, North Hills, at their own 26-yard line. John Miller, the lone setback behind Kasparovitz, the quarterback, first and 10. Miller gets it, nowhere to go. Todd Boltus there again, 6'3", 240 pounds. And he doesn't just tackle you. He tackles you with authority and a little bit of spin. Yeah, he sure did. He really, he gunned the running back right to the ground. Here's Todd Boltus. He comes in from his defensive end spot and just... Almost get spikes. back points for that. <laughs> he spiked the runner, John Miller, right to the ground. Goes back to the huddle after snuffing out that play for a loss of three. It'll be second and 13 for North Hills. Ball pushed back to their 23-yard line. 344 and counting left to go in this first half of play. It's been a beauty. Nothing, nothing. Central Bucks West and North Hills slugging it out for the PIAA Quad A Championship. Loss of three. Kasparovitz back on second and 13. Little swing out to Arrington. They get him loose now. Arrington tackled from behind. And that fire is put out by Jason Gattuso again. And it could have been a lot more than six yards. Yeah, what a play by Gattuso. Again, we look at him. He's... Yeah, here, here you're going to see the speed of Jason, Jason Gattuso. He's a 220-pound linebacker, for goodness sakes, and he runs down a very speedy tailback. Well, LeVar Arrington, only a freshman, the only freshman playing tonight. 6'4", 200 pounds. He's one of the big names coming in scholastic football here in Pennsylvania. Well, again, they're looking at third down and eight. Kasparovitz, three for three through the air this evening. No setback. They'll flood trips to one side. Kasparovitz, he's in deep trouble. Phil Lappin got him first. And then help from his friends after that. Lappin, 6'2", 210 pounds. He just came right over, and Kasparovitz kind of frozen in the cold. That's and right. there are the West fans getting on. Lappin found the hole. He comes shooting in from his inside linebacker spot. There you see it, number 66. And Kasparovitz has him right in his face almost immediately, almost as soon as he got the ball. Bill Lappin makes the big defensive play. Fourth and 13, obvious punting situation for the Indians. Ryan Caesar, great snap, just whistled back. Bill Lowe, back at his own 48-yard line, fair catches there. I don't think he wanted to, and then he raised his arm up. He was kind of half and half on what to do. 2.10 to go. We are in the second quarter of play. We have yet to see a score, but it has been a good one. We thought it would be. You know, there's something about West. They don't have box score guys. All the gaudy numbers and things like that. But what they have is tradition. And what they have is good team chemistry and good coaching. Well, that's right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mike Patton, he's been there 27 years. As we've said, 13 years. He's had unbeaten teams. Another oh, five man. years, teams with one loss. And not gaudy numbers. Bill Lowe, their leading rusher, totaled 853 yards on the year. Bill's, uh, ben Snyder, the quarterback, he only threw for 755. But they just get the job done. Bill Lowe, this could be a half-pack option pass. This Dave Braun, and he just let it slip out of his hand. Well, they had downfield. I was looking to see who that was going to. So I will wait and watch the videotape with you. They were looking Dave Roberts on a fly. And I'm not so sure someone didn't hit the arm of Dave Braun as he was trying to release this ball. it just ball. slipped here. Maybe it just, yeah, it just slipped through his arm, his hand, rather. That is... Uh, 
That is how slippery the ball is this evening. I get a little adrenaline there too, and he was trying to overthrow it, and it just kind of popped up on him. There you see time left in this first half of play. Nothing, nothing to score. Ben Snyder, they're going to try a little misdirection with Lowe. This has room to the outside. If he can get the block, does to midfield, crosses over, has a first down. He's all the way down to the North Hills 42 yard line. You can see the West coaching staff getting fired up over there. He's going to be close anyway. Well, you watch uh, Bill Lowe here. He takes the handoff and then he runs right into the back of his blocker. Why did he do that? Well, number 33, Eric Kasparovic, he was on the other side. So he knew he was kind of pinched. He couldn't go left. There was the sideline. He couldn't go right. There was number 33, Kasparovic. So he ran into the back of his blocker, hoping to clear something out. Got West, a couple of more yards. West with two timeouts to work with. They restart the clock. Well, you got out of bounds, rather, so there's a minute and 53 seconds left. Well, West has enjoyed the field position game. There you see some of the tail of the tape in this particular play. In motion goes Condier. Snyder looking, going to drop into the pocket. Hasn't had much time, doesn't here. In deep trouble. Snyder somehow wiggles out of a tight jam and spins across the 40 to the 37-yard line. What could have been complete disaster is a positive gain. Yeah, you talk about something out of nothing. And Williamson gets up limping on the far side. Ben Snyder absolutely turned, like you said, what could have been disaster into a positive yardage. Ben Snyder, all kinds of problems around him as the pocket collapsed immediately. He turned it upfield, ran into more problems, kept spinning, picked up five yards on the play. It'll be second and five. The ball on the North Hills 37-yard line. Ben Snyder back to pass. He's rolling right. Snyder looks, pass caught below. Did he have his foot down? Make it uh, Dave Roberts. They're gonna are they going to give him credit for it? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are at the 30-yard line. And if that's the case, it's good enough for a first down. Yeah, Dave Roberts, number 80. Boy, this is a great play by Snyder. It sure showing is. Showing a strong floor game, as they say. Yeah, he's looking the whole time. And you see, he looked to the other side of the field. That's to freeze the defense. He didn't know exactly where he was going to go. Dave Roberts may not have even been his intended receiver. I'm not sure. Maybe one of our our cameramen might get tagged here. Watch We're the end of this. play. We're back to live action now. Snyder looking. Looking again. Throws it over the middle. And the pass is a bit too low for his intended receiver. Again, Dave Roberts on the short end right around the shoe tops and that's a tough ball to handle as we mentioned Where do you get that? we're going back to the previous play <laughs> I, like I think dave roberts comes right into the teeth oh john yes. rex i hope you're okay <laughs> everybody's fine okay everybody's fine phil See, richardson, phil richardson he's with john down there <laughs> <laughs> a minute to go in the quarter a minute to go in the half there's our cameraman out there trying to stay warm John Rex almost bowled over that time. Minute to go. Williamson, the lone setback as Snyder steps into the pocket. It's second down and ten. Swings it out for Williamson. It's probably a good thing he didn't catch it. Better to leave that one untouched because right on his deal was Rich Rapp, defensive end. Hey, you see what that win does, too, to a quarterback. One quarter, you're going into the win. So you have to gauge how fast, Never got how far. your touch right all right. night. And see that? That? That's exactly what I'm saying. You have to gauge how fast, how far you can throw it. Second quarter, you're going with the win. And uh, at that point, Bill Lowe just uh, lofted what he thought was a uh, lazy toss to his intended receiver, but the win just took it. The, the intended receiver, incomplete pass. Dave Roberts, he'll line up to the top of your screen right up near the 30-yard line. A couple of motion men, that's Condor. Condor's a tough possession guy. Delayed handoff, gonna go to Bill Lowe, tries to slither through. And only gets the 27-yard line. John Miller in on the stop for North Hills that time. And West will call a timeout with 45 seconds to go. Let's have a look at this play again, Mark. You yeah. see, delayed draw. They tried the thing. Well, it's been successful. And Bill Lowe, he's, he's very good at, at, at getting positive yardage after uh, a standing start and turning it upfield. That time, he was tripped up at number 34 for North Hills. It was John Miller out of his linebacker spot. John Miller... North Hills, Central Bucks West. What a game. 0-0, 45 seconds left in this first half of play. Fourth and five. The ball was on the 26-yard line, Jed. With the wind at your back, do you even think of a field goal at this point? Well, I got to think that three points, the way these defenses have played, you might think you might have enough. Let's go down to the sideline now. Bill Richardson has been down there. 
trying to stay warm with our cameraman John Rex. The field is in great shape. I mean, just considering all of the weather variables there have been. Bill, here we are. Jed, I think your point that you just made is a very good one. Three points with the defenses playing the way they are is something that they're considering right now, and I think you're going to see it play out. Be about a 40. Three or 44 yard field goal. I think they need to get one more first down to even consider it. But we'll see. Well, Central Bucks West fairly successful on fourth down conversions this evening. Two of three they've attempted. Here they go. They are two for three on fourth down, but they haven't had as much as five yards to cover to get the stick. Here's Snyder back again. Snyder looking, has time, throws, has a man. It's Roberts. Make it low for the first down and out of bounds at the 16 yard line is Bill Lowe. And I'll tell you what, he ran a crisp route. He lost Ken Bollins, the free safety. Yeah, he did. He came out of the backfield and turned it upfield and then automatically cut to the left sideline. There you see Ben Snyder. He, excellent instincts for a quarterback. Looks off his intended receiver, dekes the defense. And then finds Bill Lowe on the left sidelines for a first down. Mike Condier, he is lined off your screen. He could be the intent of man. Snyder back again, yeah, looking yeah, under the gun. Down. Dances out of trouble. Snyder running for his life. Looking, looking, throws into the end zone. And it is caught for a touchdown. <laughs> Jason Williamson has a touchdown. And West has drawn first blood with just 15 seconds left in the second quarter. Snyder just kept running and running away from red shirt after red shirt threw it against the grain and Williamson came back to meet it six for West. You know I, I chuckle because that looked like a play you draw up in the street in the sand or in the grass. <laughs> Look at this wild deal. Yeah, There's no way Jason Williams was the intended receiver on this play. I guarantee you everybody at this point all receivers downfield are just trying to get open trying to help out their quarterback and Williams comes out of nowhere to make a diving catch when all the way around were red jerseys kick is up and it is good a lightning bolt Snyder to Jason Williamson we're gonna have a look at that catch again because it was sensational seven to nothing West there you go look at this grab in the end zone but again look at the scramble to buy time oh, I mean, yeah. Snyder was in trouble the moment he yelled hike so now all receivers downfield are just finding a way to get open and there you see Williams oh what a catch that is he just extends his body horizontally just got his arm between the ground and the ball actually and corralled it made the catch for the touchdown 15 seconds to go in this first half of play and all of a sudden we've got a score on the board it's seven nothing Central Bucks West capping a nine play 53 yard drive great play converting it again Jason Williamson is in the end zone his 10th touchdown of the year and with 15 seconds to go in the quarter CB West takes a seven to nothing lead over North Hills coming in a heavy favorite ranked number three overall in the country by USA Today they've been number one in the state all year long. Well Ben Snyder again they don't have a bunch of box score guys who just have uncredible numbers that stand out all they do is just beat you and don't make mistakes and just do the smart stuff. Well just like that. I mean there was a play that was all but wrecked by North Hills but somehow Ben Snyder and Jason Williamson turned that into a touchdown. Well that's a brick. Come and get that a spinning top. For North Hills this is Chris Fiola and he flies across Rumble. the ball is loose the ball is loose and I think West has it mad scramble for the ball at the 39 five seconds left to go in the quarter if West has it they could go to the end zone for one last shot. Fiola had fumbled he just coughed it up at the 39 I think West has it and I think on the ball is Bill Lowe he's yeah. on the stack. Yeah here you're going to see it the ball's bouncing around and it's picked up by Fiola Fiola starts upfield and once again do we have to tell you again how slippery that ball is there Fiola comes loose right there takes a pop actually stripped by number 14 for Central Bucks West Luke Maroney North Hills won the scramble for it in the pile once they got to a pile it was a man thing well yeah that's right <laughs> it's a man thing it's a dog fight underneath those piles for a football because <laughs> the referees can't see what's going on down there Jed no anything goes they restart the clock and they're going to play out the half right now. And our score as we come to halftime is seven to nothing. A 17 yard touchdown pass from Ben Snyder to Jason Williamson with just 15 seconds to go in the second quarter. 
was it. Let's get our thoughts now. Bill Richardson in this first half. An incredible scramble by Ben Snyder to get it done. And I'll tell you what, a seven to nothing lead of your CB West heading into the locker room. Got to feel pretty good about the way things are going getting that late strike. You're getting it with only 15 seconds to go. Now, if you play an entire half of football like that, and then all of a sudden you strike pay dirt with only a few seconds to go, you're pumped, you're going to go into the locker room and have momentum on your side. Right now, it's just going to be that much more difficult to go to the locker room and talk about everything that didn't go right, as well as giving up seven points with only 15 seconds to play. That's a coach's nightmare, and there'll be a lot of talk about that in the locker room. All right, Bill, you can come on up here and get warm for a little bit and gear up for the second half of action. We will as well. Our score here at halftime is CB West 7, North Hills nothing. And Mark, uh, this is just an incredible play again. You talk about the catch and the weather conditions. Jason Williamson on the receiving end makes the play of the year for West, at least for now. Now watch this. Central Bucks West quarterback Ben Snyder in all kinds of trouble. Nearly sacked right there. Nearly brought down again. Has the presence of mind to find a receiver. And what you don't see is Jason Williamson wiggling himself free. Here you see Williamson. here. Watch this. He puts his arm between the ground and the ball. It's a one-handed catch, actually. And Williamson with a great catch for the only touchdown of the game at this point. 7-0 Central Bucks West over North Hills. All right, we'll be back with second half action. Third quarter, boys, quad A state championship, PAAA style. Mansion Park in Altoona. Our score here at halftime is Central Bucks West 7. Pittsburgh, North Hills, nothing. Back with more after this. For years, the friendly and knowledgeable staff of Gem Jewelers has been helping you select the finest jewelry for all of life's important events. Now, Gem Jewelers has moved both of their stores to one expanded location on Route 611 at Bristol Road. Inside, you'll find a spacious new showroom with one of the largest selections in the area. You'll find great values on their large selection of diamond engagement rings, watches, and designer jewelry. Their new line of porcelain figurines make great gifts, too. They do all of their own work, and a graduate gemologist is always on hand. So for all this and the same great prices, stop in at Gem Jewelers. The Callow Hill Collection of Country Furniture is handmade in our own shop. We offer a wide variety of items available in a choice of five stains, five paints, or combinations thereof. And entertainment cabinets are a specialty. If you need yours taller, shorter, wider, deeper, then you should look into ours. See furniture for the way you live at prices you can live with. The Callow Hill Collection at the Dry Sink, Route 202, New Britain. Carousel Flowers. A beautiful shop. Filled with fresh flowers. Flowers that last. A single stem. A splendid arrangement. Straight from the heart. Carousel Flowers. A wedding bouquet. A basket of fruit. Plants of all kinds. Port Marion. Plush animals. Balloons. They show that you care. Carousel Flowers. A Doylestown landmark. On Route 202. A friendly shop. With local deliveries. FTD. Flowers for all seasons. Flowers for all reasons. Carousel Flowers. Choosing the right college is one of the most important decisions you'll ever make, and the right choice may be closer than you think. Delaware Valley College offers Bachelor of Science degrees in Agriculture, Business Administration, Computers, and Science. DelVal features small class sizes and hands-on learning opportunities. Get involved in a multitude of activities or just have fun with new friends on DelVal's picturesque campus. Delaware Valley College. For more information or a brochure, call 345-1500. There are lots of organizations working for the high quality of life our families enjoy here in Bucks County. I'm Sandy Spratt from Bucks County Bank. We're proud to be the bank that actively supports all these community groups, services, and institutions. Why does Bucks County Bank invest in all these community organizations? Because Bucks County is much more than our name. It's also our home. Serving the Bucksmont community since 1918, the lawyers at Power, Bowen, and Valamont, located in Doylestown and Sellersville, want you to think of them first when you need a lawyer. Power, Bowen, and Valamont can handle all your legal needs, including personal injury and medical malpractice, real estate, zoning and land development, corporate tax, divorce and custody, wills and estates, and criminal litigation. For 75 years, Power, Bowen, and Valamont has made needing a lawyer a pleasant experience. Thank you. 
We are at Mansion Park in Altoona. PIAA State Championship football tonight. Quad A State Championship game between CB West and Pittsburgh North Hills. And our score here at halftime as we gear up for the second half. CB West leading 7 0, and they struck late. And it was a lightning bolt. Ben Snyder to Jason Williamson. The numbers all West so far, Mark. Yeah, it sure is. The Central Bucks West Bucks, 121 yards on the ground, 34 yards passing. The passing yardage, as you can see, pretty even, but it's the ground game that has put Central Bucks West ahead in the stat column. 155 total yards for West as opposed to 67 for North Hills. It's been a very well played game considering the conditions. Once again, very cold, very windy. The ball is very difficult to handle. Nonetheless, very well played game. West getting very excited as they are in a circle now around their captains and seniors. They're banging around there. You see the North Hills cheerleaders. You need to dress warm. The wind chill factor is, uh, I believe, eight below when we kicked off tonight. Heavy winds here in Altoona, 20 to 30 mile an hour. Unreal. Coach Mike Patton has taken over this Central Bucks West program in 1967. Since then, he has recorded 13 undefeated seasons, including perfect 10 and 0 record in 84, 11 and 0 in 85, 11 and 0 in 86, 11 and 0 in 87, 10 and 0 in 1 in 1988. So from 83 to 1988, they had a 53 game winning streak in the state of Pennsylvania. Central Bucks West and North Hills equally as impressive. 1987, number one team in the nation according to USA Today. Two legendary programs in the state of Pennsylvania. As you see the captains meeting at midfield to begin the second half of this. Donnybrook it has really turned out to be a slugfest. 7-0 Central Bucks West on top of North Hills as we are moments away from the kickoff to begin the second half. Visit the LD Computing Factory Showroom in Dublin and experience multimedia systems, notebook computers, the latest in education, entertainment, and business software. LD's warehouse, located at 174 North Main Street, is stocked with products from national manufacturers like Packard Bell, Hewlett Packard, and Panasonic. LD's technical staff provides training for beginners as well as experienced users. Located on Route 313 in Dublin, LD Computing is the place to find that perfect holiday gift, from stocking stuffers to interactive multimedia extravaganzas. North Hills coming in with a record of 14 and 0. They are ranked number three overall in the USA Today poll, which is a national poll. Cleveland St. Ignatius with inception in 1983. Yeah, Berwick twice. North Hills won it all in 1987. And Upper St. Clair also claims a mythical national championship out of District 7. District 7 had a representative from the western part in all four of the games, single A through quad A. And right now, the one that was heavily favored, that being North Hills, is on the short end of a 7-0 stick as we get ready to start the second half. Kicking off for West is going to be Jonathan Yensha, 5'8", 140-pound junior. Well, there you see Yenka, and we are about ready to get things underway here in quarter number three, and we are now underway. Line drive fielded by Arrington. The ball is fumbled, and he falls on it at the 23-yard line. Again, a cold football, cold conditions. And you know, it really takes a lot of mental focus to be able to play in weather like this. It's gotta be tough. Well, absolutely. You and I were talking to some of the game officials at the half, and uh, I spoke with one and I said, my, oh my, I never thought it would be this cold for this game. And one official said, cold? I didn't think it'd be this warm in Altoona in December. <laughs> <laughs> Opening minute here of the third quarter. In a very well officiated and well played game as we thought it would be with these two programs. Jack McCurry, the head coach at North Hills, Mike Patton, the head coach at CB West. They demand excellence and for the most part have gotten it. Kasparovitz, handoff Lamar Arrington. He's got nowhere to go on the bottom of the stack again. It's going to be Bill, Big Bill Lappin, 6'2, 210 pound senior. And he was all over the place in the first half. Yeah, he was. Bill Lappin uh, really snuffs out this play right away. Comes into the backfield. Just makes the tackle at the line of scrimmage. They're going to give him a yard on the play. It'll be second and a long nine for North Hills. Ball at their own 24-yard line, opening moments of the second half. Central Bucks West with a 7-0 lead. 
John Miller is the short man in the eye. Dotting it is the freshman Lamar Arrington. Kasparov, it's back to pass and slips at the 15. Well, the surface does get a little slick, and Kasparovitz going back in a drop, a bit of a hurry. Falls right on his fanny. 10.45 and counting to go. Third down and nine for North Hill. Well, this is the first time we've seen this this evening, and that is one of the players slipping on the surface. Uh, very good surface here at Altoona's Mansion Park, but we had a tremendous snow squall in the first half of play, and uh, some of the remnants of that snow squall may still be on the field, and it's gotten very cold, so... Uh, I'm sure the field is, uh, is icing up a little bit. Loss of nine makes third and 17, my correction, at the 16-yard line. West is beginning to get on a feeding frenzy defensively. They are playing with so much confidence. Kasparovitz back to pass, fires it over the middle. Ballins overthrows everybody. At the 35-yard line, and they had three West defenders around the leading receiver. Ballins came into this game with 70, or Bolins rather, 76 catches. Over 1,400 yards and 11 touchdowns. Yeah, here's the throw from Kasparovitz. Takes the deep drop, allows Bolins to run his deep route. And there you see three Central Bucks West defenders around the intended receiver, Ken Bolins. Incomplete, ball overthrown. Punting situation for North Hills on their first possession of half number two. Fourth and 17, ball at the 16-yard line. The punter pushed all the way back to the goal line. Bill Lowe and Jason Williamson will drop deep for West. Ryan Caesar back at his own goal line. They're coming after him. Almost got it, too. Good kick. It's going to take a North Hills roll, but it's picked up by Lowe. Fake the handoff, and now Lowe running backwards is going to be hit and dropped all the way back at the 37-yard line. On the play is Chris Fiola here for North Hills. And again, Lowe makes the cardinal mistake of running the wrong way. Well, that's right. I can just hear Central Bucks West coach Mike Patton on the sidelines. North-South, son, north-south, not east-west. You got to turn it upfield. That's a good special teams play there on the part of North Hills, number 40. That's Chris Fiola. Ben Snyder is the quarterback. He's a junior. The only returning starter from the 92 club, that being Jason Williamson. Multiple formation now dot in the eye as Bill Lowe. Lowe's going to get the carry. Second man through. Picks his way across the 40, and he is stacked up. See him right there. Getting fired up again as Chris Viola. You yeah. see him on the deck. <laughs> also there is Chris Berry, 6'4", 240-pound senior. Now watch Chris Viola here. He's a man on a mission, number 40. Sheds his blocker, boom. Oh, and he hits Bill Lowe right at the line of scrimmage. North Hills, 14-0. CB West, 13-1. CB West lost their only game of the year in week number two to Norristown. Lone setback is Williamson. The ball at the 41-yard line. They give it to Williamson. Just slams it right up the gut to the 46. Gain of five. That'll create third down. We'll call it a long four for West as we go to 8.50 to go here in the third quarter of play. Well, the clock is uh, obviously the friend of Central Bucks West. They would like nothing more than a six, five, six-minute drive. Keep it on the ground out of that clock. I don't think there is going to be a lot of scoring, but who knows? Uh, these teams are so very talented. They've got enough talent to overcome the elements, but the defenses are equally as talented. We've got a real slugfest here. North Hills, Central Bucks West, West leading 7-0. High formation, now multiple. As Lowe comes back into the eye, it's going to be a Snyder, bootleg, rolling, looking, short of a first down. Hit from behind at the 48-yard line. Tackle is made again by Chris Berry, 6'4", 240-pound senior again, and they get good pursuit at defensive end here. Look at Berry, 73 in red. Yeah, Ben Snyder, quarterback for West, calls his own number, and uh, Berry, good pursuit, gets him from behind, and it'll bring up a fourth down, two to go for Central Bucks West. Ball just shy of midfield at the West 48-yard line. They might be going for it here. I mean, they are not indicating that they're going to punt. Well, they, I'm sure Coach Mike Patton has a lot of confidence in his defense, the way they've been playing. What are they tonight? Three out of four on fourth down? Yeah. Here they are, fourth and two on their side of the field. Big risk here. Bring in a jumbo package. You might be trying to draw him off, and then they call timeout, and I don't think they got it done I, in time. Yeah, I don't think they did. Uh, Let's go down to the sideline. Bill Richardson right at midfield over on the North Hills side. Bill, uh, what are you seeing down there? I don't think they got it done in time. I think it was a matter of uh, they came out, then they had the motion situation, and they just didn't get it done, Jed. They had to get it done faster than they did. They didn't, and it's going to be a delay. 
All right, that'll be a five yard, and that'll guarantee a punt now. It'll create fourth and seven. Well, they're acing the hole where the two backs jumping up in motion, and they thought that that movement would be enough to draw North Hills off sides. When that didn't occur, then they took the penalty, might as well punt. Back in punt formation for CB West is Jason Gamble. Short punt. It's going to take a bit of a west roll and drops at the 35-yard line. And here come the North Hills offense and their North Hills fans trying to get them back into the football game and get fired up. They've been very flat. The snow flying here at Mansion Park in Altoona. It's take a championship in boys quad A. Not a bad punt into the wind, 22 yards. And uh, North Hills will set up shop first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. 7 nothing to score. West. Central yeah, Bucks West, the Bucks over North Hills. They've got single coverage on Bolins to the bottom of your screen. Could be interesting to see whether or not they change the play. LeVar Arrington will line up to the top. He's number nine in red. Kasparovitz, just a quarterback draw, and he's got nowhere to go. Tackle is made by Mike Condier, 6'3", 190-pounder. Condier really started getting him a little bit after he went out of bounds. This is a real muscle play here. Yeah, Mike Condier, he's the defensive end on this side. He comes up, meets the quarterback head on, pushes him out of bounds, and uh, almost kept going very close. Almost took him right over the bench. Sure. That, that surely would have drawn a flag. 6.50 to go. We're in the third quarter. It's 7 to nothing. Central Bucks West out of District 1 in Philadelphia. Pittsburgh, the big power this year. North Hills, the team ranked number three. Kasparovitz back to pass, looking, fires over the middle, tight end, and Tennant can't get him. Rich Rapp. Again, he throws it a bit too strong, and again, touch in the wind. You're going against it one half, or one quarter, rather, and it's to your back another, and it's tough to find a rhythm. That's right. It's, it's the quarterbacks in this ball game, Ben Snyder of Central Bucks West and Eric Kasparovitz of uh, North Hills. The, yeah, they're going to have to kind of get used to their passing arm quarter by quarter, whether it's against the wind, with the wind, that time, Kasparovitz throwing with the wind, overshot his receiver by a large margin as the snow is really starting to fall now, almost a horizontal fashion. That can give you an idea of what the wind is like here in Altoona's Mansion Park. Third and nine as Kasparovitz drops to pass, fires it over the middle, wrap again, coverage is all over the place, and CB West is gonna force another punt. Three and out for the North Hills offense. They just can't get it out of neutral. They can't find the big play to get them out of the driveway. 6.41 left, and Bill Lowe and Jason Williamson will drop back to receive the punt here from Ryan Caesar. Caesar will have the wind to his back, and he just loved to lay into one with that 20 mile an hour wind to his back. You know, and even after the punt hits the turf, we could see it roll a ways if left untouched. Boy, they almost got it, and there's going to be roughing the kicker. Caesar is hurt. Ball is going to fall back at the 20-yard line. And CB West Catuzzo says he got a piece of the football after it went through. Watch this baby roll. It's still rolling, and that's just the wind taking it. It's the wind's just going to push that thing right into Look under the this. goal line. This is unbelievable. Right to the one-foot line. Yeah. Like I said, you know, it, once it hits the turf. The wind will take control of that thing and just keep <laughs> Never. pushing it along. That, that rolled a good 15 yards. 64-yard punt after it's all said and done. 6-10 to go. Let's go to the sidelines. Bill Richardson, Bill, we've seen two punts today, one in the AAA game and now one in quad A. I've never seen anything just kind of roll and roll like that. It's kind of like a tilted billiards table. It's coming back. They're going to go from the spot, which would be back at the 25-yard line. Is it enough for a first down? It'll be close. Yeah, that's right. It'll be it's very kind of a 50-50 call here, whether or not you want the ball at the one. And well, they have to go just beyond the 35-yard line. Foul. Automatic the first down. White, first down. Yeah, that's an automatic Take the first ball. foul. Yeah. Boy, you get, it's good to be uh, North Hills in that spot, but... The 15-yard penalty will take it all the way up to the 49-yard line. We're going to check in with Bill Richardson here momentarily. But I, again, you just look at that ball, it just rolls and rolls. It just, 
Well, that's a real life factor. all its own. Now, that's a real factor. Both coaches saw what happened there. So they're going to tell their receivers, their punt return men, hey, you guys have to catch that ball. You guys have to get on that. You can't let that ball hit and roll and roll and roll and get down on the one foot line. North Hills hopes now the door is opened after the break on the roughing the kicker Blitz. call. Kasparovitz throws going LeVar Arrington and he can't catch up with it. Coverage downfield from Bill Lowe. That'll stop the clock. We have 543 left to go here in the third quarter. And again, CB West is just getting it done. They have been blanketing the receivers all day long. There you see the snow. It's beginning to lay right now. And you can see on the tartan turf and on the field of play, the dusting is beginning to accumulate here at Altoona's Mansion Park. Kasparovitz, by the way, is 0 for his last four in the air. Harrington will line up in the top of the eye. John Miller, senior fullback, he's the short man. 5.43 left third quarter. In motion goes Byron Hobbs. Second man through, going to be a misdirection play. This is Hobbs, 45. He's got five, he's got eight to the 42 yard line short of a first down gain of seven little misdirection action that time Byron Hobbs taking the fake right around LeVar Arrington here good ball movement by Kasparovic yeah I'll say Byron Hobbs takes the handoff look at the way he protects that ball takes good care of it both arms wrapped around it Central Bucks West trying to strip the ball but not from Byron Hobbs as he turns it up for an eight yard gain short of a first down it'll be third and we'll call it three yards to go ball at the CB West 42 yard line. LeVar Arrington, the freshman, third down and three. As you see on your screen, he's at the top of your screen. He's one to watch. Ken Boland's the leading receiver. They hand it off to Miller. Miller surges forward, gets to the 40, and he's not there. He's about a yard shy of a first down on the stack for CB West that time. Going to be Ever Nortsky, I believe, 6'3", 195-pound senior. Yeah, here's Miller. He just puts his head into the stack and tries Ever to move the right. pile. But... It's going to be tough to move a pile when you got three guys pushing the other way. And that's exactly what happened. They're going for it here, Mark. Yeah. Fourth down and one. Biggest play of the game thus far for North Hills. Eric Kasparovitz. Keep in mind, he has over 800 yards on the ground himself. He's carried the ball 112 times. Kasparovitz going to keep it himself, and he's not going to get there. CB West on a frenzy. Kasparovitz dives second effort. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. I don't think he's there, though. I don't either, Jed. It's, you know, he made a heck of an effort. Kasparovitz looked to be hit well short of it, but his second effort, he just kept on trying to wiggle out of the tackle. But I still think he's going to be... It's going to Bill Richardson down. down on the side. Sorry, Mark. Bill, you're on that line. I don't think he's there. It's going to be about the length of a football short, but he really struggled to get there. I, I have to agree. They started to move the change just before I could get a good solid sight line down. I'll take a look when it comes over, but uh, as it as he's coming in now, I'll know he'll tell you right away, but I don't think so. We'll have to wait and see. All right. I think we've got a camera over there. I think he's a length of a football short, maybe a little more than that. Yeah. West takes over on downs, and what a sensational play. I wonder if we can see this again. You just look at the pursuit that West is getting defensively. That's just right. look at this play here, Mark. Yeah, because Kasparovitz, it, it appeared that he had a hole. But there's number 41. That for, being Gavin McKay, the yeah, junior. He's had an outstanding game from his inside linebacker spot. Gavin McKay, 41, his back's to you right there. He slows up. Kasparovitz waits for his mates to come and help. And they stop North Hills on a fourth down situation. Central Bucks West takes over on possession, first and 10 at their own 40. Ben Snyder, the quarterback. Lone set back behind him low. Snyder, misdirection, might have been busted play to the 41. Seven to nothing to score. Clock continues to melt down in this third quarter underneath 350 to go. Not so sure Ben Snyder, the quarterback, and tailback Bill Lowe were on the right page. A couple of pages apart there. They're lucky they don't turn it over on that, and a good play by Snyder again. We mentioned in the first half, and we mentioned it again to accentuate our point, this is not a box score type club. They do every little piece right, and all they do is win. 13 and one coming into this football game. They've won 11 in a row. It's gonna be Bill Lowe on the handoff. Lowe scoots through trouble. Lowe towards midfield and out of bounds. Kasparovitz gave him a little bit of a shove after he was out of bounds, but he stood him up there. 
Short of a first down, but a gain of five or six. You know, Bill Lowe's a very shifty type runner. Watch this. It's really hard for the North Hills defenders to get a good solid shot at Bill Lowe. Watch. He scoots through a very small opening, eludes a tackle right here. See, nobody gets a real good shot. That's an arm tackle. That's, that's not how you bring down a running back. And Bill Lowe, a very shifty runner, tough for a defender of North Hills to get a good shot at him. And he keeps Kasparovitz, drives him to the sidelines. Picking up more positive yardage along the way. Full house backfield. Third down and one for West. Snyder, the quarterback, trying to call the cadence. Handoff goes. Williamson across midfield for the first down. And West continues to move the chains and the clock. 2.44 left to go in the third quarter. And Jason Williamson does it again in short yarded situations. You know, that's Central Buck West. First, third down conversion. Yeah, that wasn't Williamson on the carry. I stand corrected. That's Brian Hawnessy. Six foot, 190 pounder. He's a senior. This is a sophomore and junior laden lineup for CB West. So they have a what they call a big time future. Yeah, they might be back here one year from now. Even with the extra round next year of the PIAA playoffs, most of the regular season is going to be cut back to 10 games to add all of the district winners. Be a great idea. This is only the sixth year. Ben Snyder. Rolling, looking, gets through a hole, gets through a crack, still alive to the 42-yard line. And Ben Snyder's got about seven or eight more. And again, when you're getting that kind of yardage on first down, right. it leaves your options very, very open. Absolutely. And there was some great blocking here on the right side. Look at this hole that opens up. A couple of great blocks. Number 44 for Central Bucks West. That's Jason, Jason Williamson. Williamson. He's had an outstanding game. What a great block to spring his quarterback, Ben Snyder. Another Big pickup on a first down situation, as you said, Jed. Seven yard gain, second and three. Ball in North Hills territory at the 42 yard line. Down to a minute 35 to go, third quarter. Again, Bill Lowe missed the handoff, and Snyder is just pummeled. Rich Rapp getting excited, 87 and red, just piled on him. You know, that's a name we haven't called a whole lot tonight, Rich Rapp, and he's a very fine linebacker. He and Joe Stern have combined for over 160 tackles this season. Here, Rich Rapp comes in and just buries. The Aptly Central. named there, Rapp's the quarterback, yeah. Ben Snyder. He buried Ben Snyder, quarterback of Central Bucks West. Just about a minute to go here in the third quarter. And that second quarter touchdown from Central Bucks West still standing pretty big. 7 0. The Bucks lead over the Indians of North Hills. Mike Condier, he's the lone setback. Ball at the 45 yard line. Good ball. Live game on the offense. Ooh, that's a you tough five yards right red. Against West. Yeah, it's that is. It's third down. Yeah. Here are the officials talking. Dead ball. Delay game. Offense still third down. Third and 11 right at midfield now with 49 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Well, those are the type of mental mistakes that you really can't afford in the championship game. We saw North Hills, a couple of illegal procedure calls that were costly in the first half of play. Central Bucks West, they're a mental mistake. I mean, you, you can understand a mistake on the field in the heat of battle, but a mental mistake such as that, that's what really irks. Them. Looked like he'd fumble, but he was hit and dropped immediately. Gain of maybe a yard or two, and that's it. There was a fumble, but it was covered by West. So that'll be third, fourth down and nine. Let's have a look at it again. That ball just pops free right in the middle of all of that. Yeah, at the tail end of the play. Covered by Bill Lappin. And the ball is loose. Lappin, number 66. He's had a tremendous game this evening. He was right on the spot. West is just going to wait and run out the quarter and then kick with the wind at their back. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely no reason to hurry this up. Well, they saw what happened on the punt from North Hills. It was down on the one-foot line, but brought back due to a roughing the kicker personal foul call. Checking in with Bill Richardson here between quarters. Delay of game with one second to go. He'll take that penalty. That was uh, by design. They knew that was coming. Delay of game penalty against the Bucks. Jed. Let's go to Bill now down on the side. Bill. Jed, they're going to go with that delay Good of ball. game. Just as you said, there's no game hurry offense. to kick this Fourth ball. Down. They want to try to keep it and eat as much clock My up whistle. here as they can at this point. My so whistle. now they're coming back out to do it with a second to go. They're going to have to do it now before the end of the quarter. So it didn't actually pay off, but they did eat off as much clock as they could. High punt. Now they're going to get a positive roll. Kind of go sideline to sideline. Wind will stamp it down at the 25-yard line. And that's the final play of the third quarter. 
as they look for that wiggle effect again, and they're not going to get it. Time out on the field. We're going to make the turn into the fourth quarter. There's 12 minutes left in this Quad A state championship. Central Bucks West out of District 1 in Philadelphia with a 7 to nothing lead. And their only score in this football game comes in the second quarter. And Ben Snyder bought enough time to get it done then. Yeah, he sure did. It was a beautiful, well, it wasn't a, a design play, but it was a it was beautiful improvisation from Ben Snyder and the receiver, Jason Williams. What happened? Ben Snyder, the quarterback, his pocket broke down almost immediately. So he had to scramble, buy some time. His receivers had to try to find some open spaces in the end zone. And from 17 yards out, somehow, Ben Snyder found Jason Williamson. It was a low throw. Williamson, horizontal, stuck his arm out, corralled the ball just before it hit the ground, and brought in a 17-yard touchdown pass, the only score of the game, which capped a nine-play, 53-yard drive for Central Bucks West. And that's where we stand. With 12 minutes left on the uh, 12 minutes put up on the clock to begin quarter number four. It's the Bucks of Central Bucks West over North Hills, seven to nothing. As we get ready to start the fourth quarter, it's seven to nothing. The North Hill fans now getting very nervous. We'll explain overtime with you with Bill Richardson here before this quarter is done. Now they say West jumped offside. Well, if North Hills were to tie this game, there is an interesting concept as far as overtime. We'll get to that explanation. Dead ball. Encroachment on the defense. Red, you want the five yards, right? Absolutely. <laughs> you want the five yards. Encroachment, defense, no first down. Now, this is the kind of thing that. And it's going to go on the snap. This is the kind of thing that Central Bucks West coach Mike Patton just does not want to see. That is. Mistakes late in the game. Uh, we saw a couple of mistakes on the last drive from Central Bucks West, which kind of stalled that. And this time, first play from scrimmage defensively, and they're jumping off sides. Lone setback is LeVar Arrington, the freshman tailback. He's going to take the pitch. Kasparovic's going to lead the block, and he's got nowhere to go. He is hit and dropped at the 31 yard line. In on the stop, Bill Lappin again. Talk about a big game he's having. Big number 66 in white. Look at this pursuit and also oh, got some big help from Todd Voltus. Well, the key word you just said was pursuit. I mean, these, these Central Bucks West defenders, they're, they're like ball magnets. They are just drawn right to the ball. Whoever's carrying the ball, they go in mass in pursuit of the ball and finish off tackles very well. Second and three now for North Hills. The football at their own 31-yard line and the chill evening in Altoona. Quad A state championship. John Miller, the motion man. Asperovitz going to throw it out. Bolins. Bolins trying to get to the outside. Isn't going to get that done. Mike Condier in on the stop and maybe a loss of yeah. one. Yeah, I believe he lost at least a yard on that play. What a play by Condier. I'll have a look at this again. This is how you play corner. Yeah, look at Condier here. He Rip comes up in defensive end spot. He just widened out with the intended receiver. There you see the West fans. Driving up from the Philadelphia area. 13 unbeaten seasons. They were the 1991 champs. Won a thriller here at Mansion Park over Erie Cathedral Prep 26 24. 10 30 to go in the football game. We are in the fourth quarter. Cass is dropped by Ballin. Too hot to handle. 2 5. And again, the West defense is just shining big and bright here. Yeah, you know, the ball is so very difficult to catch on the night like tonight, and Ballins might come up with that catch. But on a night like this, with the windshield about minus 9 degrees, you have to put that ball right on the numbers to give your receiver any type of shot at catching. West will get it back. Williamson and Lowe will drop deep. Ryan Caesar, the kicker. They've come after him a couple oh. of times, and they almost got it again. Almost got another roughing the kicker call as well. And that goes out of bounds. One official's at the 37-yard line. It'll be interesting to see where the official spot is. West is going to have sensational field position. Probably, let's see, at the 43-yard line of North Hills. One official is down on the 37, but they're going to officially mark at 43 or 44-yard line. Oh, what total kind of yardage did we just get there? Yeah. Total yardage stat, and it's lopsided in the favor of the Eastern representatives here at Altoona Park, Central Bucks West. Total yardage for CB West in the game, 178 yards. North Hills, 
under 100, 69 yards. Total offensive output in this ball game for the Indians. Snyder is going to drop back and pass. Snyder has a man open down. He's inside the five to the four yard line. Mike Condier, a 40 yard pickup. And all of a sudden, the Bucks are knocking on the door. What a throw by Snyder as he rolls right. And what a route by Condier. Just yeah. a simple post up the middle. That's right. Condier, he just came on a simple post up the middle, as you said. And he had just outrun his man. And like I said, you got to put the ball right there on the numbers. Give your receiver a shot at it. Laid it right in Condier's arms. Condier comes down with the catch. Hauls it in. He's brought down inside the 10-yard line. It'll be first and goal for Central Bucks West at the 6-yard line. 40-yard catch. Mike Condier from Ben Snyder. Pitch back goes to Williamson. Williamson trying to find the corner. Williamson to the three, and he's going to be caught short at about a yard, yard and a half out of the end zone. Maybe closer to the two, and there you see the frozen run <laughs> here at Mansion Park in Altoona. Bill, as we go down to you on the side, let's look at this replay first. You're looking at Jason Williamson. And here you see some great pursuit on the defensive side of the ball from the North Hills defenders. That's number 12, North Hills, Ken Ballins. Ken Ballins just strings it out, runs him out of bounds. Ball is at the one-yard line. We have a camera right on the line of scrimmage, too. Full house stack behind Snyder, the quarterback. See which way they go here. Handoff, going to be the first man through. This is not going to get done. This is Brian Honnessy. Flags are down in the end zone. There's Rich Rapp, 87 and red on your screen. He's excited. They look to get us. Here's right on the, right on the scrimmage. Yeah, this could be a big call by the officials. There were flags thrown in the end zone. Dead ball, personal foul. And a personal foul from what we're hearing on the field. Dead ball, personal foul defense. Oh my, that's rough. No, it does not. Still third down, half the distance to the goal. Jed, I think if you watch the replay, though, you're going to see that they're, they're going to talk about pushing them back after the play was, the forward motion was stopped. They just kept going and going and going. They were pretty rough. And I think you're going to see that's going to be the call when it comes down here. Here's the play. And uh, yeah, the ball carrier for Central Bucks West pushed it back rather forcefully. The ball is at the one. Full house stack. Handoff. Williamson. Touchdown. Central Bucks West. They're in the house. And lead 13 to nothing with 9.23 left to go in the football game. And the third-ranked team in the country lay behind the eight ball now. Well, nothing complex about this one. Jason Williamson just takes the handoff. Mark. Yeah, takes the handoff, puts his head down, and follows the big deep up front into the end zone for his second and CB West second touchdown of the ball game. It's 13-0. Central Bucks West over the third-ranked team in the nation, according to the USA Today, North Hills. John Yenka is in for the conversion. Did you see Mike Gimble, 76 and white, just lead Williamson in? Kick is up, and it is good. Prepared the slightest bit improperly, a dish of blowfish can be lethal. At Cote & Company, we like to think of any ill-prepared dish as tragic, which is why we carry all the things you need to do it right. Gunpowder mustard and olive spread, and pink peppercorns and garlic stuffed olives, and an exotic selection of goat cheeses and practically everything you need to make all your dishes to die for. Cote and Company. Now serving prepared meals to go. Please call for business hours at 340-Cote. Quad A State High School Football Championship. The big play, of course, a 40-yard pass from Snyder to Condier. They got it down to the six-yard line. A couple of plays later, they're in again. Yeah, that was a tremendous throw from quarterback Ben Snyder. Like we said, Ben Snyder... He won't bowl you over with his tremendous numbers. 755 yards passing throughout the season, but never looked better than on that play. A beautiful toss in the arms of his receiver, setting up the touchdown. Kickoff now. North Hills is going to be forced to the air. They can do it. That is a live football as it scoots to yard line. Touching it on the way through there was Jeff Kern for North Hills. Well, there you see a very concerned coaching staff. The man in the white cap right in the front row there is Jack McCurry, the head coach of the Indians. 
Jack McCurry in his 14th year leading the Indians North Hills program. 144 wins, 39 losses, four ties. That's a 781 winning percentage. Bucks West, Mike Pettin. Offsides against West that time. He's been there almost Recheck. twice as long as uh, his counterpart, Jack McCurry. Pettin's been at the CB West helm 27 years. He's got a winning percent, almost 300 games, 291 to be exact. He's won 250 of them. Here at Mansion Park in Altoona tonight, Quad A State Championship game. Cold and blustery December evening. West real tough on North Hills. One, they're down two touchdowns, and two, they're up against a 20 mile an hour wind to try and stage the comeback. Yanka to kick off now from his own 30 and it blows off the tee. <laughs> well, that's the nature of the beast here in Altoona this evening. A very stiff breeze. Snow squalls have come and gone. North Hills would love nothing more than a bust one lose here. They need a big play to get back into the game and wake things up. Yes, they do. They've been very flat throughout. Well, 69 yards total offense. They haven't had any kind of big plays in three quarters of football this far. Yank it a kick off. High and deep. Arrington at his own 17-yard line. Arrington gets a bunny and then his feet start sliding a little bit and down he goes at the 32-yard line. LaVar Arrington, the freshman. You're looking at the next really big-time star in prep school or prep annals here in Pennsylvania. Yeah, he's just a freshman. Ninth grader, LaVar Arrington. Six foot four. He's going to be a good one. 200 pounds. He had over 600 yards on the year, 618 to be exact, and 16 touchdowns. Not bad being a freshman and playing on the varsity. Team that's 14-0 right now to stay unbeaten. They've got to get things rolling. Kasparovitz will drop back now into the shotgun. He has over 2,500 yards on the season through the air, so they have explosiveness to get it done. Kasparovitz throws, Ballins leaping catch to the 48-yard line, and what a play that is. The tackle is made by... Great catch from the receiver, Ken Bolin. Bolin ran a short yards. route as Kasparovitz... He comes back. Good concentration from Bolin's because he bobbled that momentarily. Even with the gloves, it's really tough to hang on. Look at that grab right there. Good replay, too, gentlemen, yeah. down in the truck. Excellent concentration. Look at that. Both hands off the ball for an instant. On his way down, he found it again. Came down with the catch. That's Chris Fiola. He gets single coverage to the bottom of your screen. The lineup double wide out. Kasparovic blitz coming. He throws. Has a man. Going to be the tight end. Rich Rapp for the CB West 47 48 yard line. Gain on the play of only four yards, but Kasparovic really had to unload in a hurry. The blitz was coming strong. Yeah, out of the shotgun once again. It's Kasparovic. And he had to unleash that in a hurry. Found his intended receiver. Another completion. Good enough for a five yard gain. It'll be second and five. Ball in Central Bucks West territory at the 47 yard line. Clock beginning to really become a factor now. 7.45 and counting to go. We are in the fourth quarter. 14 to nothing. Central Bucks West with a lead into the shotgun. Kasparovic back again. Looking, looking. Under the gun. Throws it down the middle. Incomplete. Intended receiver. Bowling again. Coverage. Bill Lappin. I mean, he just, he's everywhere in this football game tonight. He sure West. is. Number 66 dropping back in pass coverage from the linebacker spot. Bill Wappen, Kasparovic, 6 of 11 this evening through the air. Well, they're now four downs to get a first down. Third and five. 7.32 left to go in the football game. North Hills, one of eight for third down conversions in this ball game. They've got a third and five right now staring them in the face. Well, again, I think we're going to get into that fourth down and conversion chart before this one's <laughs> over. This is a drive. They've got to try and make something happen. Kasparovic back looking. Throws. Has a man. Arrington steps past trouble. Arrington to the outside. 35. Arrington still alive all the way down to the west 27-yard line. Arrington with a gain of 20. And here come North Hills. Drocking on the door. Trying to get it done. Gain of 20 for Arrington. And look at his yards after the catch here. Yeah, there's that big play you're talking about, Jed. Because if he gets tackled right here, he does not have the first down yardage. But he makes a couple of jukes. Uses... Uh, his running back skills after he makes the reception 
kicks it upfield for 20 yards. The big play North Hills was looking for was turned in by LeVar Arrington. North Hills has a first and 10 at the 27 of Central Bucks West. The North Hills fans, they'll flood three wide receivers to the bottom of your screen. Kasparovic, quarterback draw right up the gut. He's only got the 21-yard line. Gain of six, however. Clock continues to wind with 6.55 to go here in the fourth quarter. 14 to nothing West for the lead. Here you're going to see Kasparovic. This is by design. He just takes one step back. A delayed quarterback sneak. And he gets up. He wants a face mask call. It's been a lot of that close uh, with a lot of hands on top of the helmet on the yeah. side, but not on the mask. And the official had a good view of the whole play. It was right there, the line judge. Kasparovic, he's called his own number 11 times tonight for 15 yards. Ball in an Arrington will line up to one side. Miller in motion. On, Miller gets the Come carry. On. Miller tried to get outside. Not going to get done. Condier's got him. Now they blow the head at the 27-yard line. And Mike Condier, he just had a 40-yard reception. Now Rich Rapp comes over. Bumps with him a little bit. And tensions here's, are getting a little high. Here's the, the play North once Hill again. Side. Here's the play once again. Mike Condier, he's the defensive end. And he stops that play before it has a chance to turn that corner. And he just keeps riding right out of bounds. And that's where... John Miller and some of the guys on the North Hill sidelines take an injection. Condera's had a great game so far. 5.50 to go in the ball game. It is third and nine for North Hills at the West 26-yard line. Kasparovic will drop back into the shotgun formation at his own 32. West coming hard on the blitz. Throws, pass is caught. Still alive as Caesar going in for a touchdown. He stays out at the one-yard line. That is Byron Hobbs. Hobbs caught it at the 10 and somehow got free to the one. Gain of 25 on the play. And the North Hill fans thought he was in. Yeah. Well, here you're going to see it. It's coming right into our screen. There's Hobbs making the catch. Nice catch it was. Has the presence of mind to turn around, know where the sidelines are, and keep his feet. Scampers down the sidelines now. You'll be to the judge. No, clearly not. He got loose. Uh, the ball got loose prior to him finding the goal line. So. Proper call, obviously. Well officiated ball game. Miller, the short man. Kasparovic calls his own number and no. he didn't get in. He was muscled down and stacked under at about the half yard line. And again, more importantly for uh, North Hills, this will run another 30 seconds off the clock. There's Big Bill Lapham again. Yeah, Big Bill Lapham. He's the guy that got into the backfield almost immediately and met the quarterback, Eric. Kasparovic head on and uh, Lapham stopped the play for no gain. Any amount of yardage at all where the ball is currently sitting is going to be a touchdown for North Hills. They are very close to the goal line. Bill Richardson down on the sideline. Maybe you can tell us how close that is. I don't think Bill can hear us right now. Jen, I, Jen, I can hear you. I just had a little trouble down in the crowd where we are. They're right here at the one-yard line. We'll come back here after the play. Here it goes. 5.08 to go. Kasparovic, touchdown, North Hills. They're back in the game. They have a shot. It's 14 to 6. 5.06 left. Kasparovic on a quarterback sneak for a yard. And here it is again. Running right behind Fred Davis. 5'9, 220-pound left guard. Well, this is uh, coming now. This is a tried and true method of getting into the end zone when you're about a foot away. Just line it up behind the big beef, muscle your way in. Worked for North Hills on that occasion. Eric Kasparovic, one yard quarterback sneak, and the Indians are on the board with their first score of the ball game. Evan Mian for the point after the kick is up, and it is gone. Boy, they needed that. Yeah. All right. The touchdown separates us now. North Hills with an impressive drive, a drive they had to have to keep alive hopes for a state championship. And we'll see whether or not that swings momentum. And here's Kasparovic. This is the big play in the drive to Byron Hobbs. Yeah, it sure is. Byron Hobbs, excellent reception. There was a defender right on Byron Hobbs, and he came down, kept his feet in bounds, and was able to turn it upfield, dance along the sidelines, and get the ball very close to the goal line. Setting up Eric Kasparovich's one-yard quarterback sneak, capping a nine-play, 67-yard drive, which puts North Hills back in this ball game. Indians still trail, 14 to seven. Central Bucks West over North Hills, 5:06 left to go in this fourth quarter of play of the PIAA Quad A High School Football Championship game. And if we get a two-point conversion, we end up with a win. So we're still within one score here to make this a championship ball. 14 to score. 
West will get it back. Bill Low, the deep man. See whether they squib it. They kick it deep. Low camps under it. It's zone 17. Bill Lowe's got coffee quick speed to the outside. 25 low really starts slipping at the 26. Had absolutely no momentum and in on the stop was David Schwab, 5'11 sophomore, 190 pounder. And with five to go in the football game, here we go. We'll explain this overtime situation for you momentarily and what it means. Clock continues to wind as West. They move the chains a couple of times. They'll really force North Hills. They have three timeouts remaining. Oh, that's right. Now's the this. If they ever want to sustain a drive, this is it. This is the biggest series in the ball game for North Hills defensively. Handoff goes to Williamson and he moves the pile forward to the 29-yard line. Rich Rapp in on the stop. John Miller is there. Also on the scene was Chris Berry. Yeah, this is just a straight dive no over the tackle. Too. Second and eight now at the 29-yard line on a frigid night in Altoona. The Quad A State Championship is up in the air, at least for now. CB West had been in control, leading 14 to nothing. Striking from a yard out early fourth quarter. But North Hill shows why they are the champions of District 7. Handoff goes to Williamson to the outside. Gets by Rapp. Williamson head down to the 33-yard line. Still short of a first down. It'll be third, and we'll call it about four, five or six. 345 left. The clock becoming a huge factor in this game. Let's see this again. Yeah, Jason Williamson picked up a couple of yards on this. Almost sacked for a loss. North Hills may use one of their timeouts after this if they stop them. It's third and a long four for West. Ben Snyder, he's the quarterback wearing number eight. Full house stack behind him. Snyder, delayed handoff, goes to Bill Lowe. Lowe under center to the 36-yard line. He's short of the first down. Nothing North doing. Hills is held. See if they use one of those timeouts. They have three to burn. They're going to let the clock go. Going to yeah. save him for the offense. Yeah, here's Bill Lowe taking the delayed handoff, the draw, and uh, John Miller, I believe, number 34, sticks his nose in there. A couple of others come in. At the first significant break, we will explain OT, and it's fun. It's something else if we get there. There's the clock. Punt. High end over end kick. Hobbs fields it. That's important at his own 29 and steps out of bounds at the 31. Hobbs did two things right there. One, he catches it. Right. The wind doesn't blow it down to the one yard line like we saw earlier. That's and right. two, as he steps out of bounds and stops the clock with what you see left on the screen, 238. That they have three timeouts left. That was a 36 yard punt, and the North Hills Indians are right now 69 yards away from tying this ball game or attempting to tie this ball game. North Hills trailing by seven, 14 to seven. Central Bucks West. On two Jason Williamson touchdowns. They've taken the lead over North Hills. And reached the moment of truth. Kasparovic will step back at his own 25. All his own numbers. Got big yardage. Kasparovic still going and struggles out of bounds. That'll stop the clock. Great play. They only use seven seconds there to get up to the 38-yard line of seven. Yeah, that's a good heady use of the clock by Eric Kasparovic. Takes, takes the ball and heads straight for the sidelines. When he sees his lane shut off, he goes towards the sidelines, pushed out of bounds, stopping the clock. Like you said, only a couple of ticks wore off the clock. 2.31 to go. Fourth quarter. Okay, and on the stop again, Kasparovic will step back into the shotgun at the 32. 2.31 went incomplete, and there's a flag down. They might call pass interference this time against Condra. Condera that time. Playing right there with Arrington. Yeah, there you see Condira pleading his case. I think they're saying that he interfered with the route of the receiver. You're going to watch it right here. Here's Kasparovic. He's looking for his intended receiver. Throwing it right into your TV screen. And the interference actually took place prior to that. Defense! First down, Red! Condira. It's a big one. That'll move it all the way down to the west 47-yard line. That is a biggie. First and 10 with 226 left. Going to the wire. 
Fantastic finish again, and North Hills has really showed why they are the number three ranked team in the country, trailing 14 to nothing. This place is electric right now. It's over the middle, intercepted, intercepted. Condera, Condera is out of bounds at the North Hills 42-yard line, and that may have just sealed the deal. Eric Kasparovich. He has to be absolutely sick right now. He has played such a tremendous ball game, both offensively and defensively. His only mistake of the game comes with 2.16 to go. He throws it right into the arms of a Central Bucks West defender. That is Mike Condera. One play after a costly interference call, Condera comes back with a big play defensively. And now Central Bucks West in the driver's seat, leading 14 to seven with the ball, 2.16. Well, that turned that deal around, didn't it? <laughs> and we have 2.16 left. Now, North Hills has three timeouts left. Yeah, this the is not over. down. It's just about burn the fuse, though. Protect the football. This is Ben Snyder tripped up. Now they have to call timeout. Got to think they got to get that done. With 2.08 left, they get it stopped. Now let's go to the sideline and Bill Richardson. And Bill, had North Hills been able to drive down the field there before the interception, Yes, there is some interesting uh, scenarios developing as far as overtime and I think if they stop them here and use their three timeouts we may get one more scenario Bill what could that be well that scenario is if they go into the overtime situation what they do is they line them up on the tens you get four downs and you get the chance to score if they do they reverse go to the other end and the other team gets four downs and a chance to score that goes on until you have your four downs and somebody doesn't score after the first one so it's a chance of going just back and forth from the ten four downs until somebody scores and the other team can't answer it and then it's all over and I've seen it a couple of times and it's a wild scene and basically I've seen missed extra points cost teams games I've seen coaches elect to go for two that didn't have a good kicking game lose or win on that it's something else yeah it's a whole different game for or not but there are some coaches who advocate that but right now the business at hand is second and 11 for CB West West in control 14 to 7 Snyder going to pitch it back. This is Jason Williamson. He moves the pile forward to the 41 yard line. A gain of five, and North Hills uses timeout number two. 2.02 2 left to go in the football game. Pick up of four. The fullback from Central Bucks West, Jason Williamson. It'll bring up a third and seven for West. Ball on the 42 yard line of North Hills. Well, again, West will gather around Mike Patton. They're fine. Coach again, a legend in District One, Jack McCurry, out of the WPIAL. They are the big ones this year. Upper St. Clair made it last year in Quad A. Lost to Cumberland Valley out of District Three. Upper St. Clair also a ranked team. Boy, it's tough. You know, it just goes to show you how good football is in this state. I mean, this is a number three ranked team in the country on the short end, trailing 14 to seven. And these are two of the best coaches in uh, the state of Pennsylvania going head to head here tonight. It's been very interesting. Jack McCurry, his first year at North Hills was 1978. In 1978, Mike Pettin turned in his fifth unbeaten season. Pettin took over control of the Central Bucks West Reigns in 1967. 56 game winning streak amid all that. I mean, that's like five plus years without a loss. That's unbelievable. 2.02 to go in the football game. One timeout left for North Hills. It's third and seven now for West. Just a quarterback draw. No need to put it in the air. Even though they stack it up, they'll use their final timeout. They'll have one last shot with 158 left. Here in the heart of beautiful Bucks County, you can find the very best selection of designer gowns. Yes, here in Fountainville, Ann Bailey's Bridal Shop features New York style gowns in all sizes and an extensive price range. Since 1976, Ann Bailey's has been commended for their full service and affordable fair price tags. So why not stop by and see why? And no wedding would be complete without a handsome groom. And right next door, he too will be tailored to perfection. Pictured here, this Critzia tuxedo is a perfect blend of style and comfort. At Formales Tuxedos, they have all the distinctive designer names you're looking for. Formal names like Christian Dior, Pierre Cardin, Henry Grethel, and many more. Ann Bailey's Bridal and Formales Tuxedo. Hope to see you soon for your wedding or special occasion attire. Whether you're in the stands or on the field, Primetime Sports is your athletic headquarters. Locally owned and operated, they feature everything from team caps, tees, and sweats to replica NFL jerseys and official NFL game balls. Remember, when the game's on the line, it's primetime. 
Hi, I'm Joanne Maroney, a partner here at the New Class Harlan Real Estate, located in the heart of Doylestown Borough. Our office at 15 West State Street used to be the livery stable for Doyle's Tavern, which is now known as the Mellon Bank. We are right next door and neighbors to the famous Doylestown Inn and Kenny's Newsstand. I've been in the real estate business in Doylestown for 10 years and pride myself in going the extra mile to service my clients and customers. Call me and I would be happy to sit down and talk to you about your real estate needs. I always have time for a neighbor. Where to go for the area's hottest entertainment, great food at great prices, and a happening new game room? The Amber Inn, of course. You've got to check out their new 52-inch jumbo screen for the Phillies and Eagles games. And don't forget their awesome after-work parties on Thursdays. Be a part of the in crowd. The Amber Inn. Visit the LD Computing Factory Showroom in Dublin and experience multimedia systems, notebook computers, the latest in education, entertainment, and business software. LD's warehouse, located at 174 North Main Street, is stocked with products from national manufacturers like Packard Bell, Hewlett Packard, and Panasonic. LD's technical staff provides training for beginners as well as experienced users. Located on Route 313 in Dublin, LD Computing is the place to find that perfect holiday gift, from stocking stuffers to interactive multimedia extravaganzas. For three generations, Barb Lynn Carpets has served the Bucks County area with a wide selection of wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, featuring famous names like Karastan, Lees, and Cabincraft, and their large stock ensures quick delivery by their experienced installers. Barb Lynn also stocks a complete line of Armstrong, Congolium, and ceramic tiles, braided as well as modern and classic oriental rugs, and a complete selection of wood flooring, plus the area's only full-service workroom for repairs and custom orders. When it comes to flooring, trust the name people have come to for 40 years, Barb Lynn Carpets. What makes a great sports bar? A great sports bar has games, live entertainment, a satellite dish, happy hour, and of course, good food. A great sports bar is Rookie's Sports Bar and Grill, Doylestown. Bring your friends to Rookie's and play some pool or foosball. Catch all the games on Rookie's satellite dish and enjoy live entertainment Saturday nights. Stop in for lunch or dinner and choose from juicy burgers, cheesesteaks, and pizza, plus platters and hand-cut french fries. Rookies, a truly great sports bar one and a half miles north of Doylestown on Route 611, featuring 15-cent wings weekdays during happy hour. Well, the stop, they had to have it. They could not allow C.B. West to move the chains. That's right. And I'll tell you what, Eric Kasparovic, I'm looking ahead now. The North Hills quarterback, he is heady enough to use the sidelines. These guys are talented enough that they can march a good portion of the field in the less than two minutes that will remain should North Hills take possession of the ball and get another shot at trying to tie this game. There are no timeouts left for North Hills now. They have a minute and 58 seconds. A little less than that after the punt to try and score the winning touchdown. Do you go after the punt if you're North Hills? Oh, I think you got to try and get it. I think we might see a jailbreak here. Everybody coming over We've the got wall. Two deep men, Hobbs and Kasparovic, two short-handed players. One thing you don't want to do is turn it back over the kicking game. Yeah, everybody's some coming safety here. Safety valves there, right in the middle for West. Kick is up, high booming kick. Kasparovic says just let it hit into the end zone at will. All right, here's the scenario. Minute 52 left. North Hills will take the field now with 80 yards to go into the teeth of a 20 mile an hour win. Let's go to the sideline now and Bill Richardson. Bill can at least give us an idea of what that wind is doing down on the field and what kind of conditions that's creating, Bill. The wind is swirling down here. It is coming down. It'll be coming right into North Hill's face, but it'll also have a little bit of a side push to it. The big thing is now you got to remember they can get down and score, and they can still win the ball game with a two-point conversion. Here they come. Minute 52 left. 14-7 the score. They have no timeouts left. They must get out of bounds. They're facing a defense that held them to 69 total yards throughout much of the football game. Kasparovic, this is LeVar Arrington. He tries to get out of bounds and does at the 25-yard line. Minute 45 remain. There's your game clock at the top of the screen, obviously. LeVar Arrington lining up in the backfield as a wing back. Comes out, calls in the pass, skips out of bounds as he had to do. All people who carry the ball for North Hills, I'm sure, have been instructed by head coach Jack McCurry, just get out of bounds, get the ball 
hang on to it, but get out of bounds. Stop the clock. They know their mission. Gain of five. It's second and five. The game time is on your set. Kasparovic over 2,500 yards in the air. He's already directed a long drive tonight. Blitz is coming. To One clock problem. continues to wind. Now they're going to stop it to move the chains at 138. They'll restart it, though, momentarily. And there's Kasparovic, the fine quarterback, directing traffic, getting his troops lined up. Steps out of bounds at the 43-yard line, going right underneath the prevent defense. Yeah, that's a great route run by number 12. Kenny Ball. Well, a lot of time to go. Bill Richardson down to the sideline with. Here it is. First of all, let's do this replay. There's the pass over the middle. This is the one. That's to Hobbs. That's two plays ago. Byron Hobbs. Byron Hobbs is the guy that came down with a big reception, which set up North Hills only touchdown of the ball game. Ball is at the North Hills 42. They have no timeouts remaining. Ballin getting out of bounds. Stop the clock with 128 left. They're up against it, but they have the firepower to do it. They run under it. Arrington's got it. Arrington's at the 10 to the seven yard line. Here come the Indians on the march of our Arrington. Sensational play. We go back. We're going to stay with live action here. We'll save that. 51 yards on the play. Minute 19 left. They stop the clock to move the chains. It's 14 to 7. Wow. What a route. What a throw into the wind. Ball is first and goal at the Bucks CB West 7. Kasparovic to keep it himself. He's got the five tripped up at the six. No timeouts remaining. Clock will continue to wind. Now we have an injured player for North Hills. All right, let's go back to that pass play. This is just a sensational play by LeVar Arrington, the freshman. 6'4", 200 pounds. He went on a straight fly right down the field. You saw him line up on the left-hand side, and look at that ball. Into the wind, no less, right on the numbers of LeVar Arrington, who outran the coverage. What a tremendously executed passing play from the North Hills Indians when they needed it the most. A big 51-yard gainer. Eric, <clears throat> Eric Kasparovic to LeVar Arrington. Here's the last play, Kasparovic. Calls his own number. There was an injury on this play. A North See, Hills player hurt. is down. I think it's Hobbs. There he is. Oh, he got scissored by Lappin, I think. Yeah. Inadvertently, just rolled over on the momentum of the play. Let's go down to the sideline now. Bill Richardson, what are you seeing down there at this particular time? Second down and goal from the six with a scant 59 seconds remaining. Bill? Well, they're working uh, pretty furiously right now just to try to find out what's wrong. They've got a lot of the training staff out working on him now. and. Uh, as they check him out, they're going to keep uh, keep working on him until we've got a little bit of delay. But with 59 seconds to go, neither coaching staff is uh, missing the opportunity. They're both trying to send in information as what they want to see done here with the ball resting just outside the five-yard line. It's got to be uh, an interesting goal line stand with less than a minute to play. Now, we saw the, uh, the teams go up with the 15 seconds to go at the end of the first half. We've got just a minute to go here. We're going to actually see the decision on how this game ends up and how the state finals ends up. And a win's going to come in 59 seconds one way or the other, as you know. But it could go again. They go in. They get the, uh, the two points on the extra point conversion. It's a win. So we're still talking about a situation with a one-score victory for one side of the ball or the other. We're going to have to keep an eye on it here now for you. The, the injured player, they continue to work on him down here. And so it is uh, Hobbs, isn't it? That's what we saw on the replay, 24. That's correct. And we just can't get to, uh, we can't, there now it looks like they're going to move him here now. So hold on just a second. They bring him up. They were working on the knee. And so, again, it was the lower leg. And they, they're going to take him off. And, uh, again, it looks to be a knee situation on the right side. Yeah, it looked like uh, Lapham, Bill Lapham of Central Bucks West kind of rolled over on the Byron Hobbs ankle. And, uh, like you said, the lower leg obviously affecting Byron Hobbs. He can't put any weight on that uh, right ankle. He's had a tremendous ball game tonight. Came up with a very big reception to set up their first touchdown. Here we go. Second down and goal from the six-yard line. Clock continues to wind. No timeouts for North Hills. Kasparovic rolling, rolling, looking. Under the gun, nobody's open. Now throws. There's a flag down. A flag is down. Might be a hold against North Hills. Yeah, it just might be a hold against North Hills. Fred Davis, Fred Davis, number 51, was trying. 
There it is. From the, from the infraction, too. It's going all the way back to the 20 and marked from there. That's a biggie. It's either, the number, Captain. It's either number 51, Fred Davis, or number 78. Foul on the offense. If you want the penalty, you're going to mark off 10 yards from there. Still yeah. second down and goal. Yeah. All right, we're going to go 10 that. yards from here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think still we second. might take that, says uh, Central Bucks West. Defense. Still second down. Oh, oh my. That is a biggie. Second Something. down and third. And, well, it would be second and goal, rather, from the 28-yard line. Right. And West calls a timeout. Well, they just want to make sure, with 41 seconds to go, that everything is on the same page. Oh, that's exactly right. Not only that, Eric Kasparovich, he's so very talented out of the quarterback spot. Here is the hold. 22-yard penalty overall, Mark. Number 73, number 71. There's not a hold there. No. I think it came on the other side. Right on the 18-yard line. I think it came on the other side of the ball. But it, nonetheless, Eric Kasparovich, number 33, he's had such an outstanding game. He's such a very talented quarterback. That really Central, up against it now. Yeah, he's up against it. But that's why Central Bucks West coach Mike Patton calls timeout. He wants to make sure that his defense knows what this kid can do out of the quarterback spot. And he can do many different things. They run many formations, does uh, North Hills. Patton, or uh, Kasparovich. 12 for 18 in a brutal throwing conditions tonight in Altoona for 172 yards. So that tells you what he can do under adverse conditions. He has a very good game, completing two thirds of his passes for 172 yards and has his team knocking on the door trying to tie this ball game up. That's second and goal for, from the 28. They have to get in the end zone. Arrington, the man of motion, Kasparovich is back. He throws it over the middle for Rich Rapp incomplete. It'll be third and 28, 38 seconds remain. Rich Rapp was wide open in the middle of the field. Rapp lined up out of the tight end spot and just did a slant right across the middle of the field. And from the 20 yard line on, he was wide open, untouched, but the ball was underthrown. Remember, Kasparovich, he's throwing in, into the teeth of a very strong win. Third and goal from the 28-yard line. They have two shots left. 38 seconds remain. In motion goes Arrington. Kasparovich back again. Blitz is coming. Kasparovich running for his life from the 40. Throws across the grain and incomplete. They got to go to the end zone for one last crack. Let's get Bill Richardson revved up on the sidelines. Bill, when we talk about throwing into the wind, what's it doing at this particular time? Wind is not really a factor right now, Jed. It's pretty easy to right now with 31 seconds to go. The wind is not a factor, but one play is. They got to make it happen here or it's, it's done for the year. They're going to have to flood one zone, Mark, and try and get some kind of tip. Yeah, that's exactly right. They're going to try the Hail Mary thing, happened. which has been successful in the past for teams at all levels. Hollins, they're also bringing into the football game. Fiola, he's six feet. He's an athlete. Arrington is six foot four. He goes up now. Bill Lowe's only 5'8". That might be the matchup to watch in the end zone. Kasparovich back. Throws it over the middle. It's caught. Not a touchdown. Fiola's in. North Hills has a touchdown. Unbelievable play. Lapham went for the interception. Incredible. No flags. The touchdown counts. 25 seconds left. Incredible. That is an absolutely incredible turn of events. Just when it looked like North Hills was dead and buried, Eric Kasparovich comes back, finds his receiver. Went for the interception. He should have just tipped it down. Bill Lappin, 66 and white, went for the interception. Yeah, Bill Lappin went for the interception. Instead of make, trying to make the tackle, and there you see Kasparovich from field level finding his receiver, and that is number 40, Chris Fiola. He's had a tremendous game himself. Bill and Richardson down on the sideline. What a wild scene that is. Well, you're absolutely right, Jed. We're the one that we called it. You had to do it there. It was all over, and they went to the air. I talked with Coach Mike Williams out of uh, Manheim Central, out of District 3, who's played both teams in a scrimmage situation. He said they should be going to the air more. Well, they did. Now they can't go to the air too much in this situation. They got to get into the end zone on a two-point conversion. Now here's what we're dealing with. Two-point conversion wins. They miss it. They go home a one-point loss. You got to go for the win, or do you go for the tie with the kick and then play overtime? 
That's a question we're gonna have to figure out what they figure out to do in the next few minutes. They have no timeouts left, so West goes on defense. What's the indication? Uh, three, the place kicker is Kevin Meehan. We're gonna wait and see if he does it. There's 25 seconds left. I think North Hills is going for the win here. Well, we said at the outset, a legendary matchup, and it has turned out to be a legendary game. Here's the ball game right here. Kasparovic under center as they go for two. The lineup, three wide receivers up to one side, and somebody jumped, and I think it was West. Let's see. Well, if they jumped offside or were drawn off, this is an important play. Let's go to the field. This is a big decision. Dead ball! Encroachment! Defense! All right. It gets a little closer. What an unbelievable play. A 28-yard touchdown pass. Kasparovic. Dead ball! Encroachment! Defense! From Fiola. This may just change your play as well. Now West uses their final timeout. If, if you're North Hills, this shortens it up a little bit. It may change your play as well. You may call Kasparovic on a quarterback sneak. He's had an outstanding game, 12 for 18 through the air, but he's called his own number more than a dozen times tonight. And he's gotten positive yardage a lot. So Kasparovic, and he's very good in short yardage situations, so watch the quarterback sneak. That is one option for North Hills. Again, they've got, uh, you know, Kasparovic, that's a great point you bring up, coming into the game, at 142 carries and 12 touchdowns, already has one from a yard out tonight. Right. They're all standing here at Mansion Park. This is the ball game as they come back on. Again, no losers, just a survivor in this football game. An incredible finish. North Hills trailing 14 to nothing. A little more than six minutes to go in the game. Stages a miraculous comeback, facing fourth and goal from 28 yards out, and Kasparovic hits Fiola, who somehow made it in, and here we go, North Hills with a chance to win it. The state championship rides on this one play. Now they're getting last-minute instructions. Kasparovic will come under center. It's 14 to 13, the score. Kasparovic gonna keep it himself. He's, He's in. in! Kasparovic has scored! And North Hills leads 15 to 14. It's absolute pandemonium on the North Hills side. It's there's an absolutely incredible finish. And there's the hero of the hour. Reign. There's the hero of the hour, Eric Kasparovich, who found Chris Viola on a fourth and 28. Fourth and goal from the 28. Unbelievable finish. North Hill scores an improbable touchdown, and Eric Kasparovich caps it off by there going around the end, into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and for the first time tonight, with just 25 seconds to go, North Hills takes the lead in this ball game. Bill? Yeah, one of the things we want to pass along, of course, as they try to get down and get you a shot of this, but one of the things we want to tell you, Central Bucks now has got a problem of their own. They used up all their timeouts trying to stop North Hills, and they've got 25 seconds to go with no way to stop the clock themselves. Here's the touchdown. I mean, this is fourth down and goal from the 28-yard line. They are really up against it here, Mark, and look at this play. From end zone level, Lapham went for the interception, went through his arms. The ball is caught by Chris Viola, and he had clear sailing into the end zone from there on in. A 28-yard touchdown pass. Wow. I don't believe him, I've just seen it. I'll tell you what, I'd like to watch the tape of this one again, maybe tomorrow. 15 14 is the score. And you got to give Jack McCoy credit. I mean, there's a guy could have kicked and gone into overtime and taken his chances there. That's right. Maybe he's as cold as everybody else. He wants to go home, too, one way or another. Incredible. Yeah, that was a gutsy call by head coach Jack McCurry. Well, it's not over yet because they're going to get good field position. This is Gattuso. He's got it up to about the 38 yard line. 21 seconds to go. And they do have decent kicking. Yenka has a pretty good leg, and, and he wind. has the wind at his back, That's as you right. mentioned. But they've got to get, oh, let's see here, about 25 or 30 yards. It's not going to be easy. But the way this quarter's been, who knows? Take nothing for granted. 
Ben Snyder, the quarterback, he drops, he looks, he's going to throw, looking long down the sideline. This is Roberts, Leafs tipped away. Six seconds remain on the play for North Hills. Was Bolin. Six seconds left, it's 15-14. North Hills, 15 unanswered points, the last eight of which will be talked about for a long time to come. And they're jumping around on the North Hills side of the ball. The bench, the cheerleaders, the fans right below us. They can sense it right now, six seconds left. 15-14, North Hills with the lead. Here we go, this could be the final play of the game as Snyder drops, Snyder's gonna look. Loading long, looking for Bill Lowe. The pass is intercepted in North Hills. Kasparovic, North Hills has won a state championship in the most impossible dream of a finish. I don't even know if they believe it. That's why they're jumping around. And maybe one of the most heartbreaking defeats that you'll see for CB West as they carry the coaches off the field. To the field now, and a final thought from our Bill Richardson. Bill? Yes, Jay, yeah, go ahead. We are asking for a final thought from you on what you just saw. It's unbelievable. Well, I, I couldn't hear you at first, and now I can. I, my final thoughts, I think I'm stunned like everybody else. When we were starting to talk about the possibility of overtime and so forth with just two minutes to go, we were trying to let you know that it could happen, that lightning could strike, and of course it did. These are both second-half ball clubs, and they showed that they have what they're made of to get down to a two-point game uh, where it could go either way. Two points away makes it one way or the other. Chuck coming out on the field right now, the injured player from earlier that came out is, as he just wanted to come out and be a part of the celebration, he had to be brought out by two assistant coaches. They're going crazy down here. And again, it's a one-point win on a gutsy call where you could either go for the win and either make it or not, or go for the tie and hope for overtime. They go for the win, and they get it in and win by one. Oh, what a great finish. Well, absolute jubilation on one side for North Hills. 15 unanswered points. They get it done on a 28-yard touchdown pass with, uh, what, about 28 seconds remaining? 25 seconds to go. Wow. And uh, if you ask Central Bucks West coach Mike Patton, in your 27 years of coaching, the most disappointing loss you can recall. Oh, this will lead the, the pack. I that's right. I'm sure he'll say the 1993 Quad A championship game in Altoona. But his kids played an absolutely tremendous game. They took North Hills to the wire this evening. Central Bucks West, North Hills, a legendary game, a legendary matchup, one that will go down in the annals of PIAA history. All right, we have a lot of people to thank for our big weekend here in Altoona. Tom Bradley, the Director of Public Information for the Altoona Area School District, our host here. The Executive Director of the PIAA, Brad Cashman. The Associate Executive Director, Bob Lombardi. And, of course, it was nice to have Elliot Hopkins here for his first football championship, the new Associate and Assistant Executive Director as well. Mark Shuey, Bill Richardson, the entire crew from WITF. It's been great working with you. And what an incredible game it was. Our final score tonight in Altoona in the Quad A State Championship game. North Hills, 15. Central Bucks West, 14. Have a good evening, everybody.